Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live special number 171, recorded October 22nd, 2013. Apple's iPad event for 2013. Breaking news coverage on Twit is brought to you by Slingbox. Get your Slingbox today at Best Buy or Amazon or check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte here with Andy Anatko, Sarah Lane, Alex Lindsay will be joining us soon. And in five minutes, Tim Cook will take the stage at the Yerba Buena Center in San Francisco for Apple's fall, second fall event. Last month, as you know, they announced the iPhone 5S and 5C. So if they are true to form and the rumor mill expects it, uh, they will announce new iPads, perhaps a new Mac Pro, perhaps OS X Mavericks. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm very well, thank Host you. Host of iPad today. So you have a little bit of a dog in this hunt. Also, i5 for the iPhone and a <laughs> Mac user. You brought all your iPads, I see. Well, this is what I do, right? Because I want to be able to, when they announce stuff, I want to be ready able to, to upgrade. <laughs> Gazelle. Yeah, <laughs> just into the cloud. No, I, I just, I want to have something to look at when I'm thinking about what's next. Yeah. Andy Anako also here, this time not in Cupertino. He's in his uh, home on the East Coast. Hi, Andy. I'm in my fortress of insolitude. <laughs> and and very silly it is indeed. So what do we, uh, What we don't, you know, uh, really know what Apple's going to announce. We never do, but everybody seems to have a pretty good idea that it's at least a new fifth generation iPad. Yeah, I mean, we're looking for, we're looking for a new iPad. We're looking for an answer on whether or not we're going to see a Retina iPad Mini. We're looking for a Mac Pro. We're looking for a release date on Mavericks. Uh, and probably iWork. Hopefully we'll see some more about that. So Hasn't been this, updated this, since 2010. Yeah, and they did tease that a lot during WWDC. I mean, this is this the last keynote of the year is a lot like the encore at the end of the Paul McCartney concert. You know, like you realize that, hey, wait a minute, he's left the stage and thanked us, but he hasn't played Hey Jude yet. I bet he's coming back to sing Hey Jude. So even though you might know what he, what's still coming, you're still going to be excited to see it come. So what you're saying is this event is the one more thing. This whole thing is the one more thing. Be prepared to shout, na, 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 Hey, 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 Oh, yeah, no, that's a different one. Uh, uh, Sarah, do you have? Do you think there will be one more thing? Any surprises? Maybe an Apple TV, anything like that? A watch mention? I doubt it. I'm I'm pretty convinced that anything wearable is not coming until 2014 at this point. But I do want to say right off the bat that last Thursday, which was not even a week ago, you were pretty convinced we would not see any Retina Minis. I'm I'm going to stay on record on that. Okay. All right. I think there will not be an a, a, an iPad. I think there'll be a Mini, but not a Retina. Well, There'll yeah, be a mini there's... with, I think, because this, you know, we've got more to cover all the colorful peacock feathers. I'm thinking they're going to do, it seems silly, but I'm thinking they're going to do colors as they did with the 5C. Maybe a color back for the mini to make up for the fact that they're not going to do retina. I feel like they're having trouble with, we know they've been making retina prototypes, but we've also heard there's been difficulty getting them out in volume. If they do have an iPad mini with retina. It will be hard to get, I think. You want to get right in the store and order it. By the way, the store is closed, uh, as, it, as it always is during these events. That usually means an update is on the way. So um, I, think we, uh, I think we should think about what our bingo card for Keynote Bingo will be today. Now, this is the traditional bingo card from Kino, applekeynotebingo.appspot.com. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, this is the usual, it just works, here it is, <laughs> uninspired demo of Mavericks. <laughs> I think this could have applied to last, uh, last time. Mike, my, my big question, if there, I think there should be a bingo item on here. Do they mention a watch? No way. I They're think this might be a good time. without announcing this it. Might, well, everybody thinks they're doing a watch. It might be a good time to say something that alludes to the fact that there's a wearable coming next year. No. You don't think so? If you, if, he's already alluded to things like that. We've got some really exciting stuff happening. Yeah, but that's meaningless. I mean, I think something like, you might want to watch what's coming next. No way. <laughs> no? No, no. Because then they're beholden to things, and Apple doesn't like, you know, they'll... they'll. Uh, oh, that's a good point. They'll hold off if they need they, to. They don't want a, they don't want a uh, deadline. How about you, Andy? Yeah. you agree? 
I agree. I mean, they, they don't tip their hand until they've got something to show. I think that if we've seen anything up to that effect, it's the hires that they've been making over the past year. And the fact that I, I still think it's it's kind of significant that Tim is wearing his fuel band uh, during uh, during keynotes and during events. Right. I don't think that he's, that's an overt signal, but that does the fact that he doesn't take it off you know, a competing technology product. I think that that indicates their level of interest in wearable technology. We remind you that Apple is streaming this one, and if you don't like us, you can. <laughs> what are you doing here? You can watch it live uh, on your Apple TV or at Apple.com uh, without any uh, snarky commentary. But if you do stay here, uh, we will give you some background, some uh, information, and then we'll all go, oh, or something like that if anything unusual uh, happens. And you know, that way you'll know something. You can actually leave the sound off and just look for my head to explode, and then you'd know something unusual. Uh, is happening. I think it might. My other, uh, of course, area of great interest is the Mac Pro. We know what the Mac Pro is going to look like. They even announced it at WWDC in June. Um, this is presumably its coming out day. We what we're looking at very carefully is, of course, state of availability, but more importantly, base price. I'm predicting twenty five hundred bucks, and I have gone out on a limb with no evidence at all to say that I bet you Apple bundles the Pro apps on this thing as a way of taking some of the sting out of the fact that you're going to have to uh, not only drop a lot of money for this, but it's not upgradable, which means all the upgrades will have to come on the Thunderbolt 2 connector, which means you're going to spend 100 bucks just for cables. Mm. So uh, I, I, anyway, we'll watch that with interest. What about Mavericks? Will we see Mavericks today? I'm guessing yes, uh, because uh, Goldmaster went out a couple of weeks ago. It hasn't been an indication that uh, there were any show-stopping problems with Mavericks. And this is their last, probably going to be their last big dish to to explain exactly how good Mavericks is. Not just to sell Macs, but also to sell you on, uh, here's why you should definitely go out and buy one of those new iPhone 5Cs one of the, uh, or one of those these iPads. Because the way that Mavericks works with iOS devices is so much better than uh, iOS 6 did uh, and uh, the previous version of Mac OS did. So I, I don't, I would be really, really surprised if they didn't give this the, one of the cornerstone uh, sections of the entire presentation. Chad, what are we hearing now? It's uh, 9.59.20. Is it music? Still music. They did announce, we're about, please, as a courtesy to your fellow turn attendees, off your, turn off your devices. And stop using that Wi-Fi. Alex Lindsay joining us also. It's good to have you, Alex. Good to be here. From uh, Pixel Core and, of course, a regular on um, Mac Break Weekly. Um, you will be watching. We'll we'll make you our Mac Pro guy because you'll Can't be wait. watching with great interest. Can't wait because that's you're probably the biggest buyer of Mac Pros. I'm ready to buy all of them. <laughs> 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 no, I mean after being very much of a curmudgeon, um, the more I looked at the the Pro one, and and, and what I'm really excited about is see, is see if we get an update with the Mac Mini. Um, you know, a Mac Mini. You with, use a lot of Mac Minis because that's an inexpensive, simple. <laughs> yes. Well, they're also you glue the, them to the back of the displays. We have them everywhere. I mean, yeah. I think we probably have twenty or thirty Mac Minis floating wow. around. And the uh, but the big thing that the Mac Mini does is it is it provides um, uh, it's rack mountable. We can get two of them across a rack. Um, we so a lot of them will have an event production kit that will have. Um, you know, six or eight of them right. like plugged in. That and that's something you're not going to be able to do with that round pro. It's not rackable. Unless you have a yes. wine rack. Some people had posted, after I complained about it, some people... Um, yeah, but uh, round is never a good shape if you want to get a lot of right. units in a small space. Some people had posted uh, ideas of putting three of them stacked sideways right. into a rack. Like having a rack yeah, that'll, take you, three, that'll take three U. Yeah. But they said, hey, it's three U either way. Three U, that's not so you know, bad. The, you know, yeah. so it's, it goes three U high with three round ones going across. We're seeing the we'll Apple see that actually uh, works. copy right here. I just want to remind you before we begin our show, brought to you, as always, breaking news, brought to you by Slingbox... The Slingbox 500 featuring built-in Wi-Fi, HDMI connectivity, 1080p. You connect it to your home theater system. And now your home theater system is on the Internet where you can, with password protection, of course, get on it using your computer, your Android device, your iPhone, your iPad. It actually turns the iPad into the ultimate personal television set. Uh, watch, watch the World Series. It's coming up on your uh, Slingbox wherever you are. Check it out. Slingbox at Best Buy, Amazon, or go to slingbox.com slash... To it. Usually the last song Apple plays before Tim Cook takes a stage oh, here we go. is meaningless. A commercial. Well, it's not meaningless because it's Kings of Leon, one of uh, not that many accounts that Tim Cook follows on Twitter. Oh, so it's a Tim Cook fave. Tim Cook likes gets, the band. It, it gets him into the mood. That's right. I love it. Yeah. And if you read uh, any of that New York Times article about how much they prepare for these keynotes... 
uh, with Steve Jobs' first iPhone keynote. Here we go. Here's the ad. If everyone this looks like the last uh... is busy making everything. This is the same thing they showed in September, unless they've changed it. How can anyone perfect anything? That's why we start to confuse convenience Boing. with joy. Abundance. Joy is complicated. With choice. This is, you know, a really subtle anti-Android. This is the same as the other keynote. I'm worried that we're watching an archive. Oh, no. You're seeing this too, Andy, though, aren't you? At Apple.com? Yep. Okay. Okay. They spent a lot of money on this. They're going to show it a couple times. <laughs> Did they really, though? Did they? I don't know. I work on a lot of these events. It seems cheap. <laughs> I'm just saying. It seems it's just animation. Mm, no, it's... That was a lot of meetings. A lot of meetings. That I'll agree with you. We do a lot of these videos. It takes time. That's a lot of meetings. Yeah, but the dots weren't that expensive. Uh, they are pretty expensive. There are a thousand <laughs> With Apple, I'm sure that they like picked, oh, see that dot in the upper right? Yeah. That one can't be that way. It's not getting the golden. Yes. We simplify. I'm watching with interest to see how Apple positions themselves as a fashion company as opposed to a technology company. I really believe that's the direction they're headed. And uh, the iPad is a perfect example of that because it's really not for technologists. It's for real people. It is. And what's, what's going to sell something that's already perfect because it's pretty close to perfect is fashion. What I, what I find interesting is, is that at a... Uh, Here we go. Tim Cook go. taking the stage. Interesting control panel view there. So we are... Uh, no applause from that one blocks. guy in the green Thank shirt. You. I just want to make note of that. Thank you. He won't be invited back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for joining us, and good morning. I really love that video. That's we why I showed it for it the twice. first time at the developers conference in June. <laughs> Three times. I wanted to open with it this morning because I think it does such an incredible job of talking about our values. It reflects the unique way that Apple creates what we believe are the very best products in the Someone world. Someone finally told him, don't use a barn door when there's nothing to see. Right. This morning that could only have about been the developed transitions. Oh, I hate that barn door. Way. People ask us we to do it. I'm really like, really excited to show them to you. But before we dive right in, I've got a few updates like that. beginning with an iPhone. Oh, all right, let's see how the iPhone As you may doing. have heard, we launched two new designs last month. We launched the amazing really? iPhone 5C in a range of gorgeous and vibrant colors. And buffering. Oh, come on. Chad, can't you do better than that? Quote Chad, from Moss, Walt Mossberg saying the new iPhone 5S day. is a delight. Is Nine million us? sold the first weekend. I'm re I've got, I still got it here on my iPad. That's us. It says calling it the biggest iPhone launch. Harry Kraken of Time Magazine called oh, it the Harry. perfect Harry Harry is happy. of hardware and software integration. And we announced the forward-thinking iPhone 5S with its blazing fast 64-bit A7 chip, right. a stunning eyesight camera system, and of course, Touch ID. Walt Mossberg of the Wall Street Journal called it our called it the best smartphone on the market. So I, I've only seen and the, the champagne. And millions of people one. agreed. By the end of the launch weekend, we yeah, have the only one I've seen in the wild million iPhones, it's the, it's making the it the right biggest iPhone yeah. launch Evidently. ever. Every every year they say that. It's the biggest ever yet. Biggest to date. Because it is. That's well, good news. Yeah. That's good news. The excitement and energy <laughs> around the launch was absolutely Especially powerful. Especially for a talk. And because, there was no yeah, better place to witness it than in one of our retail stores. We well, prepared a brief good. video for you this morning to good. share we're gonna to have to get a better feed or a better internet connection. Yeah, and now that you're now that you're doing a uh, phone uh, uh, videos from uh, Apple stores around the world that launches, a uh, good look at the Shanghai store. The excited three, two, one, come spend your money! Yay! Those, those are fun. I mean, it, it, I didn't hear anything, but you know, this morning at midnight, uh, Microsoft opened ten of its stores for the Surface Two release. I, I didn't see a lot of coverage of that. I didn't see any three, two, one, come on in and get it. Uh, long lines. <laughs> mm -mm. Come on, dude. <laughs> Apple. Apple's one of the few companies. I don't see it for Samsung either. That can still, you know, really get that yeah. kind of excitement going. Yeah. The, the the best marketing thing that Microsoft can say is that they are in almost no danger of violating the fire codes when they do a product launch. Unlike some competitors, they could name. So I've got it here. Uh, whatever you're using, Chad, stop using it. And you could just pull it from my, if you want, uh, my thing. <laughs> Will this help? Uh, 
course, promotional uh, ad for all the people buying headphones. Japan. I haven't seen a lot of those uh, 5C co uh, covers. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen any. It, well, you know, I, I really don't see C's see come to Yeah, think of that's, that's actually more yeah, Somebody the, must be the buying case. it. I see a lot of commercials for them. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at this resolution, Chad, since it's, it's flowing fine. Obviously. I know I can speak for everyone in Apple that when we see customer response like this, it makes all the hard work worthwhile. Both new iPhones shipped with iOS 7, a bold new redesign with great new features, and the biggest change to iOS since the original iPhone. The reviews have been the, tremendous. Okay, good. David Pogue of the New York Times called now of Yahoo. Apple's best Got really good at that, Chad. And millions of customers, hundreds of millions of customers agreed. They love the bold oh, the new redesign. Like, please, me next. Yeah, me, me, Let's see, he's got Harry, Walt, Dave. We made the I think Ed. Where's Andy? Ed, and just <laughs> five days after launch. Hey, where is Andy? Over 200 million devices were running iOS 7. Wow. That's pretty I'm crazy. Making million. it the biggest and fastest software upgrade. That's one thing Apple ever. really has going for it is Apple and users I'm upgrade. you that as of I upgraded I upgraded my phone and watched it for a little bit and then upgraded like the eight other devices all at the same time. And I was just like, okay. Seven. Now this is tremendous. It blows away the other guys. And we love this because it makes it gives our users the latest software so they can enjoy little. the greatest features. And the best this happens too with OS X. Uh, Apple users just one of the great upgrade. new features that shipped with iOS really do. 7 was <clears throat> well, usually they give you enough radio. new features that you really iTunes want, and you're not corporate. It's a right. fun and easy way to discover and explore new music, and it runs on iOS devices, but also in your Mac or PC through iTunes, and even on your Apple TV. Artists love iTunes Radio. Justin Timberlake called it an amazing way to discover new music and debuted his album on iTunes Radio. Now, even and more we only importantly, had to pay him a million dollars. We now have had over yes. 20 million users listen in on iTunes Radio, and this number continues no, I, to I grow. I haven't really used it. I, there's so many and other choices really yeah, I haven't, that have been first to market. Listened I'm, to I'm so embedded. Songs, it doesn't, and this is just I'm, I'm doesn't solve a problem that I have. Month. Exactly, it's because it's been solved. Yeah. Spotify, yeah. RDO. Yeah. Next I, I have huge playlists yeah. built up in Spotify, and I'm just not that interested yeah. in yeah. trying to do that again. I'm using Google Play Music. We okay. now have Pandora. over a million apps on the App Store, and our users have downloaded an astonishing. <laughs> this is a large number of apps to choose from. Times. Yeah, a million apps. Now, this is staggering, and the App Store continues to be the best place for developers to be rewarded for their creativity. Developers have now earned over thirteen billion dollars. <laughs> wow. That's not bad, it's especially since it's only the top 10% of developers that are making any money. Right. That's but this is the way it is in any business. that's to electronic <laughs> arts. <laughs> yeah. Next up, the Mac. We have an amazing lineup of desktops and notebooks. And we've had one focus since the beginning. I had to see them highlight the To Mac. build the best personal computers in the world, computers that people just love to use. And we've done that through a combination of I really do think that hardware, they're still making the best hardware. Maybe not. They are. You know, it's just not I even close. I love my MacBook Air, but coupled with I just feel OS that they, they're starting to move into that post PC era as everybody else is, and mm -hmm. they don't want to make these anymore. And apps like it breaks my heart. I work. And yes, I work. I There's the update. Phenomenal apps. Let's see. For your productivity and creativity, and it all, and Macs just work seamlessly with all of your iOS devices with just iCloud. New iBooks. And all of this comes together. In developer. this really delightful experience that our users just love. Now, our competition is different. They're confused. <laughs> By the way, that's Microsoft. Right they there. chased after netbooks. <laughs> now they're that's trying to so make PCs cool. into tablets and it tablets looks like into Mickey PCs. Mouse with an arrow coming out of his ear. Oh, Who man. knows what they will do next? <laughs> well, I can't answer that question. But what I can tell you is we have a very clear direction. Uh, that, that's accurate. As long as, you're, well, as long as you like you that direction, that you're, you're, you're that's, good to that's, go. That's, that's Apple's strength. deeply in this category. They're, they're single And focused. we're not slowing down on our innovation. We've been really By the way, work on if the you map, ever do presentations, Apple's presentations for these events is the gold morning. standard. Oh, yeah. To start things off, 
We'd like to start with OS 10. Even with that, so, I'd like Tim to does a very, very I'm just talking good about the actual today. slides. Craig? <laughs> Here comes Craig <laughs> Federighi. <laughs> good morning. Simple pictures. Well, and it's not your notes. OS 10. So the team has been hard at work. I'm so happy the they started with this. This is great. Cool. Our 10th release uh, in the history of OS 10. And this one is world a fashion. We really focus on the opening band. major areas. It is the opening band. It is the opening band. Yeah, <laughs> right. Technologies right. to fundamentally accelerate the performance of your Mac. Some features that smooth the Mac. Goes for the untucked shirt. He's casual, but business. I just love his. Now, one of our also, biggest missions can't see what kind of watch with Mavericks was to oh, fundamentally upgrade your hardware. Did you see what Tim was wearing? To get more charge no. out of your battery. Long saves for all. Get more out of your memory and higher performance. Out of your GPU. That's going to be the one more thing they just now, all roll up Now, what we considered going door to door with a bag of parts, and we would have loved to meet you. Uh, we're software guys and actually kind of shy, so we decided to do it with some code. <laughs> That's cute. And we started with power efficiency. He's easily the most likable presenter. Deep yes. and broad across the That's systems, some, some and the result sheen. is outstanding. Yeah. Now, of course, battery life varies by the model forward. that you choose, mm -hmm. but Apple. even you take our 13-inch MacBook the new, Air, the uh, latest, which is just has fantastic Mac battery life, and all you do is install Mavericks. It's a lot of clavicle you get there. Up to I don't an know. Hour longer web browsing on a single charge, and up to an hour and a half hard. longer. <laughs> Top, I, that. Just, I just wanted to say we're video. too wild and crazy. It's guys. really fantastic. We've also made big God, improvements <laughs> with memory. Now Mac users love to push their systems to the limit, and that's great as long as you have enough memory. But when you start to exhaust the system's free memory, things can slow down. And that's where a new Mavericks feature called compressed memory comes in. With compressed memory, Mavericks can actually compress almost instantaneously inactive parts of your contents of memory, making space for new allocations. Boy, as a pro, that really worries me a lot. I don't really in just think four this is something to push. System RAM. And what this means I, think, is I think that makes sense for people using Excel, but and never well, slow down. QEMM did on Windows 95. Mm -hmm. uh, as, a pro, as a pro, I just hope I can turn that off. A good memory manager is going to... You shouldn't have to think about memory integrated frankly, graphics. at all. Now, some of our latest Macs include high-performance yeah. integrated graphics, where the CPU is combined on the same die with the GPU and sharing the same system memory. Yeah, now, in like the past, that OS X allocated a static amount of memory set aside for graphics. But Mavericks is, is much Intel smarter. Thing, a, yeah. If you're running a mm -hmm. task that needs lots of memory but doesn't need much graphics, Mavericks can allocate just a little hmm. bit to graphics. But if you're doing something graphics intensive, like playing many streams this of high resolution Intel, video, Mavericks can give the graphics subsystem everything it needs. And what this means is high well, performance. Well, it's part of Intel makes no that matter what architecture ahead, right. but you'll take advantage of Finally, it. Finally, right. we brought OpenCL hmm. to integrated graphics. Now, this OpenCL is Apple's technology. They've been pushing against really the oriented tasks that would normally run on the CPU, on this one. and instead takes it down to the massive to. parallel compute power if you're a of the GPU it's, as opposed to OpenGL, right? I mean, that's the and problem. And we see in benchmarks results of up to 1.8x acceleration for these tasks, and sometimes oh, 2x and higher for image processing tasks. Stuff we've done is all it's still really been written fantastic. straight to the iron, but now, course, you don't do OpenCL Mavericks stuff. has many no. great enhancements for your Mac user experience as well. Um, it's things not like cross -platform, shared so. links. We haven't worried about that. We don't make PC apps anymore. new links on the too web many. from people you follow on Twitter <laughs> Too many LinkedIn. forks. We've enhanced notifications, so now you can respond in a notification right there this while staying nice feature, in the app that you're already in. In <laughs> the Finder, we this. now have tags. It's a great way it's to organize files no matter where they are, whether on your Mac or an iCloud. And we made big We're watching Craig Federighi give a summary of new features in OS X Mavericks, all stuff we've heard about. We're uh, cutting down all of the all the all the new features. Yeah, I don't like that. And menu bar, just, just like it's your primary display, no matter which display you're using. We've also brought some great new apps to the Mac as well. I like the idea that you can open iBooks finally on the Mac. App, it seemed like it's it was crazy. App, high performance, multi-touch gestures, turn by t or driving uh, directions, and Flyover looks great on your big Mac display. We've also brought iBooks to the Mac. I your like it that they're not doing there, these full screen. And they're showing your these as iBooks, Windows, textbooks, Windows as well. apps. But of course, mm -hmm. the right. best way to appreciate yeah, that, that, that whole that's to reassure, I think, yeah. those of us who are concerned about like the iOS application right of OS X. 
Well, Andy, you think sh it sounds? It feels right, like they're going to ship today. To Maverick. Maverick. Yeah, this is. Although it's interesting that it's this no early, it comes to a tool so that means that they've got a lot done. more to show after this. They could have right saved this as their big pages, push. Here is the big thing that we're showing you. Aren't you? Aren't, right. You're lucky we're having Mavericks today. Right. What's really great now in Mavericks is I also have access. Right I still think that puts it to iBooks. That's the priority they're giving. Library here. It is really the opening act because they have a lot this is a, more to talk about. Textbook on Mars. <laughs> Again, just relieved that they mentioned Macintosh. Yeah, exactly. I can just now, the Mac Pro to move between the uh, would pages logically come right after this, right? Just like this. Well, iBooks author would uh, uh, would be the obvious thing after this to talk about how they improved the fact that it, it right. that they wow. released it and then didn't do much with it. Because it's really a huge huge opportunity for Apple that I think that they're totally missing is being able to build interactive books rather than just standard ebooks. Great way to work. So if the I problem is the development is platform is very is limited. No, this is this is in iBooks. Uh, no, no, that's just iBooks. So he's got to talk about authors. So I would love to see them talk. I'd love to see them announce something. That's the tool. That's the tool to make, to, to make them. Just like that. And it's just very limited. Really, you disappointed? Yeah, yeah. I got excited about it first. I was excited about it, and I thought they'd actually continue to upgrade it. But I've been able to categorize them by topic with tags. It's just so hard. As soon as you go past adding Mars, a couple things into it, exactly. it becomes a pain. We've really heard this again and again, that Apple has a hard time doing many things at once, or even more than yeah. a few things like at once. This. this is such a huge thing for them, is, it, is to change the playing field of um, development. I mean, the one thing they could do is just make pages a development app for iBooks. It would be a lot easier. And I can also tag a single document with multiple tags. So this one also has to do with school. I'll tag it just like that. And you'll notice it appears here under Mars. Press that Craig can really get well excited about these underscore. multiple tags for a single now, document feature. Mavericks is <laughs> also like really great for keeping track of what's wow. going on even when I'm. You know we're complaining about now. We'll so be using it all the time in like three weeks. If a notification weeks. comes in, what did I ever do with that? Like this? this. Let's see. Oh, yep. I can actually respond right here to my wife. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Air Force Two okay, is well, her Twitter uh, handle, uh, or miss? Well, I don't know what is that. Messages. Is yeah. my fashion guru. <laughs> this is cute. So you can just respond right That's there. Cute. It's really convenient. A little, little husband-wife banter. Now we support That's a new kind of suppressed here. That's the whoops. Sure. Website like, notification. You know they practice that for like three days. Side, I can see a okay, honey. Like remember <laughs> when I mentioned tags. <laughs> Let's zoom back out here. Press return. You can see. What, do you, what are the odds? Really zooming by hand. That's crazy. Like Somebody has taken over Air Force Two just from, for the event. Uh, well, <laughs> this one for an yeah, and they're, they've been locked in a closet. Yeah, right. yeah. Not, <laughs> not able to talk well, for really a weekend. What I need. His wife is at the, is so at the spot. I can, uh, I can buy it right now. And what's great is with oh, iCloud buy it. keychain and Mavericks, my passwords are synced across all Fashion. my devices. Guilt. So I can yep. log right in without having to. I do like this feature. I mean, this this kind of looks like a one password or a last pass kind of cross platform feature, and and I think should be built into the OS. I think that's a good way to do it. Along with my expiration date, but you don't have my security code. I have to enter that in manually for extra security. Now while we're here in Safari, let's take a look at our great new top site. Having done that myself, I literally had to cancel an article express card during security. Now here's a nice. Uh, here's a nice one about Apple's uh, new campus. Uh, I, for one, look forward to... Two? Mm-hmm. Looking forward. Mine's not this. frozen. You should get a better and, computer, uh, Chad. Chad, come so on. For instance, I can search for story I keep moving my mouse into the screen to see if you're still taking my picture. <laughs> great new reader view as well. It looks really nice. And as I scroll through the articles with Safari's accelerated scrolling, I can go right from the end of one article right into the next just continuously oh. it's really just a fan we've now Maybe cut everybody I'll out start using safari oh i use that all the time i never do reader view i never uh, use safari right period unless I, I have to test Nina, something that doesn't seem to be rendering so for a bunch of our shows when we prep documents mm -hmm. we just go into reader view and then we export it and then yeah. we and then we just immediately knock off all the entire website this and get a view right of the uh time and appointment but what's great is when i go into our great new calendar app you notice it's also extracted the location it's even shown this I love. That That's cool. And the weather expected and it, for that and it time. adds a little margin and of uh, time for travel. Aware, That's awesome. It also knows where my previous appointment is. Still and it can actually let me know how long it'll take to travel from one spot to the other. It's great, but I still use Google Calendar. Walk. It looks like it's going to be a nice day, so I'll go ahead and walk. Well, you can with this. No, I, I tied it. I, I, my Google Calendar shows up in all, all yeah. of these things. I can ask to be alerted on my phone and computer. But I mostly just want my 
glass to know that I'm right into this map have a schedule. Be taken into our great maps app. So of course we have Scott C. John asks in the chat room, do you think Apple's trying to do a Google Now? And it is a kind of a, a Google Now-ish feature. They're getting there. It'd be hard for Apple to duplicate that kind of functionality. Have, yeah, they, just, uh, they don't have the search results. It'll take them a long time. Yeah. With, of course, flyover. And it just looks gorgeous. Looking into the city here, you can see the roof. <laughs> that is pretty compelling. I have to say, these are pretty compelling features. When I'm ready to go, if, you're, if you're all Apple, and that's really what they're, the yeah. what they're promoting. But a lot of people are all Apple. iPhone, an iPad, and a Mac. It's all makes right sense. In that's pretty, I think, for my route. I bet you so a, a large the portion of their users are that way. Mavericks. Nice demo. Very clean. Quick. Nothing blew up. It's always good. All worked. But still, just a refresher. So that's Maverick. It's a fantastic release. And it's available. your battery life, gets more out of your today. memory, accelerates yeah, I think your today. graphics, has great features. Maybe by the end of the month. The it could be. And what some is really fun new yeah. apps. But you know, for those of us that work on Mavericks, what's Mac most room. important to us is seeing the software in the hands of as many Mac users as possible. We want to get them all the latest technologies, the most innovative features, and the kind of robust security it's only possible through deep infrastructural enhancements. And so in the last, for the last several years, we've been on a mission. We've re-engineered our development process so we can put out regular major releases that renew your Mac all the time. And we've reinvent, reinvented the way we distribute OS X. So now upgrading your OS is as easy as downloading an app from the Mac App Store. But today, we're going to revolutionize pricing free? and make it because the days of spending get, hundreds of dollars get less than to get 30 the most bucks out of your computer or are five dollars. Five Thirty less time. Five dollars. Today zero. we announce a new no, era. That's going to be free for the Mac. It's really all about today. Account. We're announcing that Mavericks is free. Yeah. 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 And applause from the uh, studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> I think that makes sense. I, in fact, nice. I think they only charge because, for accounting reasons, they they needed to. Free is There's no free. reason for them. Yeah, I think so they. We're doing free, free as an upgrade. Not a small way. I presume. Whether mm. you have our latest release, Mountain Lion, or even if you never upgraded and you're oh. still running Lion, or if you're a complete laggard and you're still back on Snow Leopard. Yeah, this is good. In a single step update. That's, you can get to Mac. And that's awesome. about security. And we wanted saying, this to yeah. run on as many Macs that's as fabulous. possible. Well, it so makes it a lot easier for developers. It makes, you know, it's good. It's good it really makes sense. Even and and you can only do it if you're a hardware manufacturer. <laughs> we should remind people of your standard Mavericks. caution, which is the first Again, version of the OS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not the one you want. And we'll put it on a machine or two and see how it goes. Today. Today. Go out and get it. Go out and get it. Okay, Chad, stop taking my feet. I'm going to update. <laughs> I can try. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm over now to Phil to tell you a little bit about. I'll the go MacBook. full screen if you want here. There, he said MacBooks. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go full screen. We'll see if it continues. So pull back a little bit here. Well, good morning, everyone. I have the great pleasure to talk to you about MacBook. The MacBook lineup is the best lineup of notebooks we have ever had. This is very much like last year, where they did everything. At the developer conference, yep. we introduced an entire new generation. Of this is the Haswell, Air. the Air that I'm using right now. It's the best we've ever made. Faster, with incredible all-day battery But it life. needs a retina display. Customers have really fallen if he, in love with If he with puts them. out a retina display on this MacBook, I bought have been, well, just remarkable. three months ago. Mm -hmm. Why you know he's going to do it. Four months ago. The 13-inch MacBook Air is as close to perfection as a consumer I notebook would agree. gets. Except... It doesn't get better than that. Yes, it could, with a retina well, unless display. Unless you wrote this. The greatest laptop ever made. Yeah, really. Uh, the legendary mind stuff. Blown. <laughs> Imagine it. That's McCracken. <laughs> or is that Elgin? That might be it Elgin. It is safe to say that the MacBook Air may be the best reviewed Mac we have ever made. Mind and today we're happy to now turn our attention to MacBook oh, good. Pro. Good. As you know, the MacBook good, Pro so they're not gonna is the kill first me. personal computer with a retina <laughs> display. A display with the pixels so small that at a normal working distance, your eye can't discern them, and the images are gorgeous. And they make sure that all your screen and captures are messed up. Now we've brought out a 13-inch and a 15-inch Retina Display MacBook Pro. These, and these are not yet Haswell, so they're due for an update. Mm -hmm. today. First, let's start with the 13-inch MacBook Pro. 
It is an incredible machine. Here, and now it's even lighter. lighter. Under three and a half okay. pounds, just 3.46 pounds. <laughs> and the new 13 inch MacBook Pro is thinner. My bag's already 45 pounds. Up, oh, I'm going down to the small screen. Wow. And the new 13 inch MacBook Pro is thinner as, as well. well. Just as 0.71 inches, inches thin. It's beautiful and thin and light. And it's incredibly fast, too. New 13-inch MacBook yeah, Pro is powered is by an Intel Haswell chip. This is a fourth-generation dual-core chip. And that chip includes Intel Iris graphics, integrated graphics that are even faster. In fact, they're up to 90% faster than the previous generation. So faster performance, that will make a difference faster with graphics. Right yeah. And it gets better battery life, too. Now up to nine hours of battery life for all the things you love to do. When you're checking your, your email. Mail, surfing the web, doing productivity. Is this, this is the doing 13 productivity. only he's talking Watch about right yeah. now. Did he say the Black Knights. Knight instead of the Dark Knight? So if you're a fan of the Black Knight. Is yes. Oh, it's not black. On one charge. Comic book fail. Yes. <laughs> the, yeah, the audience is thinking exactly yeah. that. Did he say that? Did he say that? Black Knight? If you're, if you're a Closet Batman fan, you don't have to hide it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's PCIe-based flash. That's 60% faster than the previous generation. Wi-Fi is faster, too. It has 802.11 AC. That delivers up to three times the performance over 802.11 N at similar distances. An he did. He said uh, faster, similar distances. Too, with he the new Thunderbolt core. 2. Yeah. It's up to twice as fast. Ah, Thunderbolt the 2. There you go. Thunderbolt. We need to see support across um, the board on this, And all this performance right? yeah. and battery life comes in a brand new... MacBook Pro that's running Mavericks. Craig just told you all about the incredible features and performance of Mavericks and the work of hardware and software together to deliver an incredible notebook experience. Is Black Knight the one who said me? The previous generation 13-inch <laughs> MacBook Pro started at $14.99. We're really happy to tell you today that this new 13-inch MacBook Pro starts at just Well, they're dropping the price, something they rarely do. Getting aggressive. Rarely do. That's a, that's a pretty good for price us. for that. That's great. Yeah. That's for a configuration with a 13-inch Retina display, 2.4 gigahertz, dual-core i5, 4 gigs of I5. memory. You want, you're going to want an i7, so that's going to take you to come on. Of storage. You're getting a Pro, that's just get an Air. If you're not going to get an i7, get an Air. Today. And get an Air with it. I got an i7 Air. My is dumb. My Air is i7. Next, let's talk about the 15-inch MacBook Pro. This all-new generation MacBook Pro is powered by an Intel Crystal Well chip. <laughs> This is the fourth right generation quad mm, processor. I'm always due. Yeah. <laughs> it includes I'm saving my money for Iris the Mac Pro, Pro graphics. Now, this is I'm integrated graphics that, for off. many tasks, deliver the same performance as discrete graphics, but it does it at a quarter but we use less really power. Hard. And for those who do want discrete Good. graphics, there this is the reason why you want 15. You, you do want a separate graphics. This is a graphics system. part with two gigs of video like memory, viruses. twice as yeah. much as before. So, again, faster processing, faster graphics and longer, ba longer battery life as well, up to eight hours of battery life. When using Excel. The new 50 Notice the Apple small Pro also increment includes here. It's the only faster PCIe-based flash. It also includes the faster 802.11 so AC Wi-Fi. so happy if they made, made it Take, twice as thick and twice as heavy with twice as much. The biggest change is PCIe-based so flash. That is a huge difference uh, in terms of the of substance, course, the IO it comes with OS X Mavericks. And I'm not I'm familiar really with Crystal Web. The 15-inch MacBook Pro started at $21.99. Oh, okay. I think you can guess what's coming. 1999. The new MacBook Pro now yeah, starts at just 1999. It's still more than, you know, almost anybody's going to pay. Mm. Twice as much as yeah. a Windows machine. Right? Yeah, but it's a lot more computer. Display, two gigahertz quad core i7, eight gigs of memory, Iris Pro. That's a good base. Actually, a that's a very good base model. A flash storage. Yeah. And best of all, you know, the base would be okay. It's also shipping it. today. That's available today. <sighs> Can't believe I'm going to be gone tomorrow. Right. As you know, we work really hard to make all of our products environmentally friendly, and, and these are both as well. And it's called leasing. Six, EP Gold, leasing. Arsenic-free display. It's like $60 free a display, month. DFR-free, PVC-free, and highly recyclable with all that beautiful aluminum and glass. So this is our notebook lineup. MacBook Air, MacBook Pro with a retina display, two display sizes on each, 11-inch and 13 on Air. 13 and 15 on MacBook Pro. This is a Pro, very a good product line, I think. Um, so by far, the best lineup we've ever had in incredible upgrades across I'd the whole line. I'd love to see uh, Retina on the air, but I understand. And that's yeah, our news I for like. MacBook today. Now we got to do Mac Pro. Sure. I think so.
at Apple Palooza. Can't innovate Next, my. Would like to tell you about <laughs> Mac Pro. Keister. Somebody was hoping we would. <laughs> Mac Pro, as you know, we yes. gave a sneak peek at our developer conference this June. And it's I think this is going to be a long not a stretch keynote. to say people have been blown away by this incredible new design. It's much, much like it's last year. It's anodized aluminum yeah. enclosure with diamond cut oh, chamfered so edges. So many innovations. So we're thinking if we like racked like nine system, of these, it would just like you know, you'd have to, be, you'd be, you'd have to put a warning like a jet engine, like don't in step it. in front. Or well, the innovation of the unified thermal core at its center. It is a computer that packs an incredible base. amount of power yeah. into something that's one eighth the volume of the previous generation. <laughs> Twenty four ninety nine and uh, four thousand dollars as remarkable. configured. Right. It is our vision of the future of the pro desktop. <clears throat> And today we'd like to tell you even more about it. So inside this new generation Mac Pro is the fastest processor we've ever put in a Mac. A new generation Intel Xeon E5 comes in four, six, eight, or 12 core designs, 30 megabyte L3 caches, super fast buses, a PCI Express generation three bus. Inside it is the fastest memory we have ever put in a Mac. 1866 megahertz DDR3 ECC memory on a broad four channel controller, massive bandwidth and up to 64 that's gigabytes of, inside. Pretty, that's a lot of computers. <laughs> Probably one of the most remarkable things about this machine, the team set a goal they, uh, to have a breakthrough in graphics. It's the first Mac that comes standard with dual workstation graphics. Computer. AMD Fire Pro D300, D500 or D700 graphics. You see a Fast very buses, broad range of configurations. Huge and that's amount so of VRAM that, up to yeah, get that low one. Low one in. Over half a terabyte of bandwidth to it. Because if you fully configured, it's going to be like 10 grand. Compute power. Yeah, I'm thinking so. That's mm -hmm. power that can be used both the other thing to watch for, it will have 4K graphics. Will they announce a 4K cinema CL display? I think they will. Yeah. Mentioned earlier. Everything's about 4K with Apple, yeah. I think, coming up here. And that's what you need this power for is 4K. Storage inside is all flash-based, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Simply put, you cannot put a hard drive in anymore that's as fast as this flash. This PCIe-based generation of flash is when you know I spent a lot of time building raids so that I could get 200 megs a second. This is amazing. And, 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 and by the way, it's true. I mean, PCIe is the right way to do SSDs. It's an incredible storage system. And if you want to expand it, well, external expansion begins with Thunderbolt 2. Which really, this is why you don't really need a lot of slots to put in there because so it's so fast. The throughput is so fast. Throughput, you can gigabits. bond them together with channel bonding. You can have up to six, six devices per port. And it's got what, four ports? And this is the heart of being able six to create ports. a true next generation video work through <laughs> model with a desktop computer. This is 4K, amazing. 4K this is video, why you have to do 16 4K times display. the pixels of 1080p HD video. You can have up to two displays plus a third HDMI. You see Netflix lot yesterday was talking on their monitoring. earnings call. There's never been a no. They mentioned 4K. They, they said they want to be a huge 4K yeah. provider. At CES, uh, they, were the, they were kind of doing 4K mm -hmm. as Expansion, a Expansion, it has a really cool feature. Yeah, they said next year they want to do that. Move it, yeah. there's a motion controller. And the I.O. illuminates to show your way. And there's a lot of great I.O. Dual audio out, four USB 3, six Thunderbolt 2, dual gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, the new generation Where's HDMI. Where's the FireWire 800? Why is my mouth watering? 802.11 AC. This is packed and built for expansion. Now we have amazing customers. It'd be really interesting if someone built, built a block so that, that just hooks onto that, that and then imagine. wires out. Right. That's what they need to do. And we to get a few of them and early look at it and their hands on it and so they could tell us all what they think it's of this. Let me tell you about three examples. <laughs> First, video editing. This is one after another. Just of <laughs> David Bogues says, says oh my God. of this new Mac Pro. We put one in the hands of Dean Devlin, filmmaker. You may know of him. Mark Wasberg says, <laughs> and leverage. I don't remember he the movie Leverage. To use the new Mac Pro, and what did he have to say Maybe about it? Out yet. The TV show, Mac Pro makes Leverage. Real time 4K video editing a reality. And this is exactly what you're saying. There's, there's well, really, it's very difficult to do 4K work. Uh, work well, and for three hundred dollars, which is what Final Cut costs. I mean, right. that is now now crushing. Right. All these guys that have been complaining about it, right. as the 4K, as we move to 4K production. What's that display he's looking at there? You may know him. This amazing photographer works for Sports Illustrated, National Geographic. 
Sure would be nice to get a new display today, wouldn't it? The new They've got to. I mean, there's no point in having 4K. Yeah, you've got to have 4K. Yeah. If you don't actually yeah. more shift the display. There's not a lot of displays to do it. Displays not may, be, may not be available today. In fact, this may not be available today. I'm guessing Love this shot. Looks so cool. Who doesn't want to be sitting there next to that? Mac Pro. You don't, I don't think you put it right <laughs> there. <laughs> right there. I feel like you, you no probably stopped paying attention to it elbow. pretty quickly Donna, once yeah, you're working. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what Stuart had to say about it. The new Mac Pro is blazing fast and shockingly quiet. Why, it's key. I'm telling you, this is the greatest age to believe it. home theater PC This is the perfect computer made. for the recording studio. Or your home theater. If I had to pick between my Neve board and my, <laughs> my Mac Pro, hmm, difficult. And we can't wait to get the of more customers so they can show us what they can do with it. So the new Mac Pro will cost $29.99. Yeah. And that's for configuration with a 3.7 gigahertz quad-core Xeon. That's pretty good. 12 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. DRAM, it's a great entry level. Well, that's my home E300s, theater PC. Mm -hmm. With two gigs of video memory each and a quarter terabyte of high-speed SSD. Now, if you know what D300s cost and that high-speed flash, you're actually super impressed with this pricing. December. Be before the end of the year. Well, that means I can buy the retina now. Like yeah, all see? Our products, <laughs> it's it's all about pacing. Environmentally friendly. For a pro desktop, it's Energy Star 6, EP Gold, BFR free, PVC free. They're really going after the environmental so angle. Yeah, they have for a while. They just do else will die they, get yeah. their hands on. Everyone, like... It's also energy efficient. It's up to 70 It's approved by industry standards, by, made by the people who are actually doing it. Mac pro. And this chart proves it. If you look at even 43 Sinyan watts, Michael, consumes just 43 watts. Compare that to the previous generation Mac Pro. That's when you're not using it, right. Let's see what happens. Well, where that, that's, are. I realized that was the whole circular just thing was to make sure, you know, just really I reduces know. the number of fans you need. The, and the fans are what's using up almost all your power no and the processors. Than a Mac Mini sitting it's it's your as desk. quiet as a Mini. That's, that's great. That's astonishing for this kind of performance. That's great. And it doesn't heat your whole house. amazing new generation desktop for pros and all of us. And we're really proud that it's designed by an incredible team at Apple in it's California. It's when they're making in El Paso, Texas. It's going to be assembled here in the US. In fact, there have been over 2,000 people spread across 20 states helping us to prepare to build this incredible new machine. And it's built with technologies and processes unlike anything we've ever done. We've created a brief video to give you a peek Inside what See is how many workers they're hiring to build pro. this. <laughs> I, think, I think it might be a, a lot, lot of robots videos, yeah. getting a job here. It's beautiful. At Apple, manufacturing and design are inextricably linked. To make a product as advanced as the this Mac is, uh, Pro, Jeff Williams, who's a uh, pioneer entirely new Tim Cook's successor as a the end result is a computer unlike any we've ever built. It's pretty amazing to see it all come together. Oh, there's a human. This is the aluminum extruder. There's no way you need a person for that. Oh, there's just somebody standing there to make sure. Oh, that looks good. I'd like one unanodized, please. Yeah. That'd be awesome. It's very shiny. There's the robot. It's doing <laughs> actual polishing. Well, it's getting to the point. It's not even a matter of savings or anything else. It's just the level of precision required. Right. It's just right. you just have to use a machine. And well, we know there's at least fifty. Right. They should do a special edition that's that's just chrome. I would love to not have the end. Not black. Mm -hmm. Let's just get that shiny. We call it Terminator Two Edition. Exactly. Look at him go. Look at that guy. This kind of inspiring the kind of technology they're using to build this thing. Not a single shot from Marsh's birthday party. <laughs> Everybody chipped in on that cake, you know? <laughs> That's pretty. A couple people there, they're turning screws. That's pretty. Mostly QC and test. Yeah, yeah. We're the iPads. <laughs> All right. $3,000 available in December, the new Mac Pro. That's the base unit. We don't know how high right. it can go. I'm sure it can go very high.
That's the Black so Knight that's edition. The new Mac Pro. <laughs> the Black Knight edition. <laughs> yes, exactly. News today, and we have Mac a name hardware, for them. All new generation MacBook Pro and the upcoming Mac Pro. Next, I'd like to turn it over to Eddie Q. The big story so far, Mavericks available today, Mac OS 10, 10, and free. Free, as in doesn't cost anything. It's great to be here this morning to talk about apps. Our apps teams have been busy Eddie Q. updating both our creativity. Everyone's going with the untucked shirt. I know, this is the third Eddie, untucked shirt. Eddie's coming from a different place. Ever. I think this is a little uh, so let's get started Jersey Shore with here. <laughs> It looks like apps the Mater D in an Italian everybody restaurant after uh, hours. And your everybody has had like top button undone, no undershirt, cuffs. Come on. and uh, an untucked shirt. It's fashion. Take advantage of iOS. It's 7. probably a Burberry shirt. And we've got <laughs> brand new versions for the Mac. That was They're such a huge. The power of oh, look, we got new icons. Bit. So you get fast performance. We knew there would be new icons. The question is, will it be a new software? Now, Still 3D. We don't have time to go through all of the new features, but I want to highlight. Still a little skeuomorphic. Let's take a look at iPhoto. Browsing your photos has never been faster or smoother than now, thanks to 64 bits. I keep hearing him say, and "Bada bing, bada iOS, boom." iPhoto has got a brand new look. It's clean. It's beautiful. It's a great way to enjoy your favorite photos and albums. Now. Photo books have been hugely popular, but they've only been available on the Mac. Well, now we're bringing it to iPad. And with iPhoto, it lays out your book, and with multi-touch, you can easily move your photos around. I make a lot of those. Or change the pages like to make them look exactly like you want. It then uploads it to My Apple. My wife wouldn't let me take we a lot of photos it, until I made her one. Beautiful coffee table right. book. And then she's like, your home. so when's my book? We went to Paris. Where's my it book? It answers the question with the digital photography. Where's my so album? Where's my great photo update album? to iPhoto it's so easy. Mac and iOS. Okay. One that's, guy applauded. That's fun. One guy. Well, I'm and we've got an amazing happy about new it. version of iMovie with a ton of cool new features. We've completely redesigned it, make it cleaner, simpler for iOS 7, making it easy and to we browse see he's not and share your videos with your family and friends. No, he's certainly not. You don't need to create a he's project. Got, he's got cuffs. You don't need to edit. You can just <laughs> a lot of cuffs. And tap share. It looks like, like he course, iMovie lets got you take the time wrong and had to dress over his pajamas. <laughs> And we are bringing desktop <laughs> he looks like the guy from the parody. Like, you, you want the gold the iPhone. The, the gold iPhone, right? <laughs> we made it gold. He's he looks like he slept iPad. in that shirt. I get a message from Craig Frederighi's wife any minute. It makes it even better Scandalous. to browse your library and share your favorite moments. And of course, it's really easy to speed up or slow the video, which is great for the high frame rate video that you capture on your iPhone 5S. One of the big That's advantages, nice well, one That's of the big good. advantages of having Final Cut 10 and iMovie under the same under the same technology so platform cool is that sharing all the features is just that. Final Cut 10 is just more complicated, right? And only incrementally. Yeah, you know? but that's what you want. But you don't have two different logical, code bases, so yeah. you don't have two different teams developing underlying underlying technologies right. twice. And because it's integrated with iCloud, when you create a movie on your iPhone, it's automatically available across all of your devices. And of course, <laughs> even on Apple TV. Eddie was like Next, trying to put in the cufflinks. They said, Eddie, you're on. Yeah. Eddie, you're on. He said, ah, <laughs> screw it. What does he yeah. mean, yeah. even on Apple TV? I've done that. It's getting an all new look for iOS 7. Oh, once you're done with the movie, you can tracks access to 16 it via iCloud tracks. On Apple wow, TV. look at that. If you have a 64-bit device, you can now do up to 32 tracks of music. Did you ever see Nine Inch Nails? They, they so released one of their songs on, on GarageBand. On iPad, it's it's like a master's course in mixing. Oh, yeah. It was like, I mean, it was like, I don't know how many layers there were yeah. there. But yeah, and you just yeah. really saw what it takes to do a real song. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they did not mention, design, as Mavericks is, man, is pointing out in the chat room, they did not mention a new Mac everyone. Mini, I'm when sorry to say. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to cry. There's one cool feature that I'd like to show you right now, and I'd like to bring up Xander Zorn up up. Who is Xander? Who is Xander? He is Xander the music. Xander Zorin? Yeah. That's a great Morning, name. Everyone. It is a great name. Let's see if he actually was given I'm it. I'm just yeah. thrilled to be able to show you. Oh. New Somebody went cardigan. Zipper cardigan. Or even your iPad. Hello. All right. I'm telling you, fashion forward. So right there's something the going on here. What's happening? Guitar riff. Why don't we open it up from iCloud and let's give it a listen. I think that has some promise. What would make it a lot more exciting is some killer drums. Now, there's a great feature in GarageBand called Drummer, and it gives you a virtual session player that will play along with your songs, but takes your direction. 
and it's really fun, really easy to use. I mean, uh, are we past the point where we get a new display? A new and in addition to all the options, you know, it's kind of it's like, are they going to loop back? They may talk about it when they talk about Final Cut 10. Because Final Cut 10 is going to come, true. you know, yeah. it's like, of course, you need to have something to look at this on. That, it starts me off with Kyle, along with a set of these performance controls. Did you say Kyle? That's going to let me tell <laughs> is Kyle. Kyle what, you know, what I want him to play. So if you don't like uh, Kyle, so can you say, I want Frank? Because Kyle sucks. With song until I tell him to do something different. So hey, man, that's out. not our usual fake drummer. Yeah, exactly. Where'd he go? So He's doing too many sessions right now. Oh God! The drum that he plays on. Hey, that and sounds better. Or have him hit the crash cymbals. We can even crank up the fills for a really big finish. <laughs> okay, that's more sounds rock and roll. me out. Sounds way better. <laughs> People trying to create uh, so you probably noticed music for corporate. Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to tell you. Of some of the best session players in the world. So these are the same musicians that play with artists like... Eric I mean, that's Black, what it really is. A great Tom form. McCartney, we get a lot of requests for that. And Can we have something that's copywritten free? Style, totally. And just, and just like throw this together. It totally works. Now, every new Mac comes You're not going to release an album on it, but... Great set of starter content, including Kyle. And you can add 14 more drummers and a whole bunch of loops and instruments with a single in-app purchase. So what I'll do I wonder here if Kyle's an actual alternative. And you can see that we've got Nikki and Aiden. Let's check out Gavin. Let's see what he brings to the <laughs> You know that there was like three weeks of meetings to figure out what the names were going to be. They the wouldn't dare drummers. name one Keith or Ginger <laughs> or Stuart or Neil. So you just play along until you find a, a drum groove that inspires you. Yeah, they so asked Neil Peart. He said, at drummer. no. It's one of the many new features in GarageBand, and musicians are going to love having these great drum grooves to play along with. Thank you. Thank you. That was a lot of time that was for awesome. one feature. Yeah. I love GarageBand. That, that sounds like so a little bit of fill. Just one yeah. of the hundreds As of new F -I -L -L features available in the new What about guitar player? What about bass player? What about sing lead singer? <laughs> Siri. New versions Everyone of the get, Mac. That would be great as get Siri to sing. All, we're making them all free with the purchase of any new Mac or iOS device. What I want to see is if they make Final Cut 10 free. And these updates are all available today. So, all right. If they do that, it's good. It, it's, and that's iLife. We knew that we can't wait to see the amazing things that you're going to do with it. Now, our iWorks team has been hard at work at updating all of our productivity apps. Pages, numbers, and keynotes have all been redesigned to take full advantage of iOS 7. And on the Mac, we've completely rewritten them from the ground up. Uh. All brand new, the biggest <laughs> updates of iWork ever. New interfaces for you to learn. They really needed to do this, though. Yeah. The first thing is... Everything was all chuggy. Full file compatibility. So now you can open a document on any of your devices or any of your platforms. Full file compatibility in iWork. And because it's 64-bit, it's never been faster. Now, you're also going to notice a collaborative brand editing. New collaborative UI. editing. And the best part of this is it's easier to do things while at the same time being more powerful. I wonder how they did. They must have so delegated a, pages, a team over the last year or two. So I'm editing a fully document rewrote pages. These. Right. The keyboard comes up. Now I get a new tool across the top that makes it easy for me to tap and just change the format of the text. On the Mac. We've got a new format panel on the right-hand side that's content sensitive. So it shows you the and right tool kind of based on what you're doing. That full screen so let's say, for there. example, yeah. I select some text. The panel on the it's side. A lot of stuff going on. It's hard to do that in a window. If I well, yeah, but notice these aren't floating image, pallets, really. The these are yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. I can change yeah. the arrangement, change the border. That's What's fine. great about yeah. this is we're not cluttering the screens with a lot of controls like you see in other apps. We let you focus on the content you're creating. You know. Numbers. We so the fact that they keep with saying 64-bit, 64-bit, it's very clear that the iPads, you, I presume all the iPads, both the iPads will be updated to a 64-bit. Is and the course, A5's they have not 64-bit? Beautiful charts. But what's great no. is these charts A6. can now be interactive. So you got to go A6 or better. So you can see how your expenses are changing on a quarter-by-quarter -quarter basis. So a great update to numbers. Next, Keynote. 
the gold standard of presentation apps. Or no, you and have to go to really is. So that means an A7 and I had many probably. Some Every time I see someone using PowerPoint on a Mac, I'm like, what is wrong with you? We've actually been running the new keynote in this presentation. I know. <laughs> what is wrong well, with you? Well, schools, businesses, a lot of require. But if you're require, doing like a real presentation in front of real people, yourself. if you're doing little business things for 10 people and your company gave it to you, but if you're doing like. Right on an iPhone or iPad. So I think. They're going to go 64 bit. transitions have been updated both, with more man, realistic physics. IPads they have. And we've got new ones. <laughs> they're great, and best of all, they're even fun. Apparently, Eddie Q is There's channeling Dudley, Arthur. Dudley Moore, more than ever. <laughs> you can do with Keynote Thanks, and Twitter any other Why are we making fun of this nice man who's telling us such interesting like things? Like we should be ashamed of ourselves. I just want to believe he's, you know, a character from The Hangover. <laughs> It makes morning. it more fun. Super excited to show you folks the new I work. This is good. This is so exciting. So imagine I've been working on a poster for Eddie's new album. I'm gonna fire up. <laughs> See, that's here. that's why. See, it's called oh, good. <laughs> gorgeous poster. <laughs> <laughs> Even they're making fun of Eddie. Okay, <laughs> I just want to say, it's We're not just better. us. <laughs> What I love about these apps, they are the most powerful iWork apps we've ever made, but they're also the easiest to use. So I can click on an object, and you see my format panel, it updates, and it gives me just the controls I need for that particular object. We also have styles now for every kind of object, so I can just click there, styles with a Z. select some text, choose a style, really yeah, easy to make my document. <laughs> Look just the way I want. Do you think that they were like, untuck it, man, just it untuck it. And he's awesome like, I don't want to. So I gonna gonna don't want to. Even better photo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Roger, I was going to wear that shirt today. <laughs> Almost. That would have been good. Really I, mean, I would have enjoyed that. We would have made fun of that one, too. Super easy to share. That's what we do. It's got ruffles. It's like so I can click the peach colored ruffled 1982 tuxedo shirt. Via iCloud. And I'm going to choose to email. <laughs> and what it's done is created an email message for me, and it's just put a link to that document right in the body. I'm going to send it here to Eddie. And what's really cool is when Eddie gets that link, he can just click on it, and the document opens right up in I Work for iCloud beta. <gasps> he can do it on any computer, a Mac oh, or a he PC. Do this? He doesn't he need really pages do installed. He doesn't even need an iCloud account. I mean, it just is this opens supposed right to up. look mm. cool? No, no. It what they're about to do, is, what, what they're about to do, if they do what well, I think they're going to do, something. it's going to be cool. All right. Super, super cool. Well, maybe not. I'm going to move over to Safari here. You know, we introduced these iWork for iCloud beta apps just a few months ago, and millions of people have it, tried really them. Really good. I have just to say, I really like them. If, they, the, if they make this collaborative, feedback about how great they are. The he and Eddie are going to work together. The piece of feedback we got in terms of feature requests in real time. Was, Collaboration. Up oh, there you go. So there we have it. I am it's really over. proud to tell you today well, we are adding Google Docs does this, right? Yeah, Not Google Docs pretty. sucks. <laughs> we we generate fifteen to twenty Google Docs a day, so and the only reason we do it is because of this so feature. I just opened an exact same document in Pages for iCloud. Uh, and it's like editing with a brick. It's like painting with a brick. Show Whoa. editing this document. Right now it's just me, but as soon as Eddie clicks that link, he I kills send the him, bandwidth. And there he is. Now we're oh, both man. editing the same document. Now exactly you have to both be working on the web or can you be doing it from a the uh, app? I think we can definitely improve this, Roger. There's both they're both uh, in this. Let's far? go ahead and uh, no, one's in. change the text. I want to change the You should be able to do it a little yeah. bit more Either modern way. Here on my name. And uh, I don't care. I'd be happy. Because we'll right now we have to build also. stuff in one app and then go to another. I think uh, are they both in Safari? I can't tell. That's looking good, Eddie, but yeah. don't you think we ought to use your stage name? Eddie Cube. <laughs> now, Roger, you, you know, I have actually gone back huge. to my uh, third grade stage name. What? what? Come on. Cube what ball. is happening right now? So, th so they're and, uh, they're having so much ahead. fun I, uh, working on the same document. Killer album. But it's okay. You don't like the uh, and design. Go ahead and name it. No, they don't care about the design. They're just showing the fact that you can. You could do it. You can do it. This has been like the number one thing that our number one reason right. we don't well, use these very often is because we can't collaborate on them. Photo right. on my computer here, and I'm just. And so we have to use the, in from the finder. This is something Google painful. <laughs> Google kind of owned. Oh, Google owns it, and it, it, it's just been painful. What do you think? That's awesome. It's just painful to use the actual <laughs> app. You. So what do they're they showing here is that try to do that in Google Docs. Just right. try. Anybody watching? Right. Just try to do something graphic that actually looks good in Google Docs. Like you can do lists of words. Wow is all I can say. That's it. <laughs>
collaboration, just one of the hundreds of new features. If you can do that with numbers and with um, so now you can create your document on your iPad and with Keynote, edit it on your Mac, and even collaborate with a friend who's stuck on a PC. Now, others would have you spend a small fortune every year just to get their apps. But we want to do something bold. Something 99 bucks is not a small fortune. You know what's From a company well, selling a $3,000 computer. Well, but, but, but when you're talking about, but when you're talking about hundreds of people, free. Yeah, yeah. Free. look at this. See, they're going, free. I think all the software, I think they're going, we're a hardware free. company. Yep. Final Cut 10. If Final Cut 10 is free, the industry is in big. I'm telling you, like, they, they should have mentioned this. They and didn't. Of course, you can download they should have loaded today. that Mac Pro. Good. I'm, download that, would you? Right away. Let's get that. That's great. That's awesome. So brand new Will versions of iLife, brand new versions of iWork, the biggest updates ever and all free. The biggest question then is and how to manage all those docs and share them and how, they're gonna, how that's going to look. Because iCloud. Today, like with Google Drive and, and Google, you know, like you have to figure that so out. I hope you can see why today is the biggest day ever for apps. Thank you. That's good. Nice it job, is. Eddie. Thanks, Eddie. Go have a little champagne. I can't wait to hear the new album. <laughs> 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 These are really incredibly rich apps, and we've only Even scratched on the, desktop, the surface they call them of what apps. you can do with yeah. them. Yeah. So I encourage you to I check them out. Sense. And now they're all free with Mac. So we're now one hour into the uh, event. I think we're probably on schedule. Yeah. Because it's time to talk iPads. When you combine this announcement with the announcement that Craig made earlier, that OS 10 upgrades are free, we are turning the industry on its ear. But this is not why we're doing it. We're doing it because we want our customers to have our latest software and yeah. access to the well, greatest new they're features. they're doing it because they can. I mean, mm -hmm. we think they have to compete against Amazon and Google who make devices at cost because they make the money on the back end. They can't make devices at cost, so what are they gonna do? They, they give you the apps. This is their, a big, their advantage. Next up iPad. All right. Okay. No final one cut. hour in exactly. No final cut. Half years ago. No final cut. Unless, it's, unless that's another, that's one more thing. thing. And a very ambitious objective. We called iPad our most advanced technology and a magical and revolutionary device. When you look at a big company that's looking at buying hardware. But not everyone. I work and way. all those things free. Right. Some Cha -ching. didn't see the need for it. Still others. Didn't think it could compete with a netbook. <laughs> Who remembers netbooks? <laughs> Zing. Still others doubted it would have any impact on the industry at all. <laughs> but, <laughs> I just want to go on record. You should have put a name on when, that. At, on, when they announced the iPad, I said this is a revolution. Has gone on I just want to go on record. It was not me that said that. <laughs> I'm not a tool. In Apple's history. <laughs> And one of the most successful in the industry. Yeah. Although sales have been tailing off, now I, the, you the, see it in the graph. Yeah. The, the interesting question is: Is it? Does it have to do with release of new products? I'm pleased to tell you mm -hmm. that earlier this month, we sold our 170 million. Or iPads. you see the fact that the other tablet manufacturers are starting to play catch up here. Maybe. This is an incredible number, and I can't think of another product that's come so far, so fast. Now everybody seems to be making a tablet. Even some of the doubters are now making them. But regardless of what you might hear or read about how many are bought or sold or activated, iPad is used more than any of the rest. Wait, and they're saying Paul Thorat is the, uh, the tool quote, and I think that iPad sounds like Paul. He might be. He might be Paul. <laughs> than all of those other say. tablets. I've never seen together. Apple use that in a, a tool in a <laughs> At least quote. They didn't say this is Paul Thorat. Yeah. To us. Because when you make a great <laughs> product with a great experience, this is how you know it. People use it. And what's even more rewarding to us is that people love it iPad is rated it was number Paul. one in customer satisfaction. It was Paul Thoreau. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Since the inception <laughs> of the ratings. And the reason is because iPad combines into Nothing like having your own show quoted. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. <laughs>
At least he didn't put the name. An amazing <laughs> Althera, software. Yeah, it does weekly to it. Can you imagine? Intuitive services. He actually said it on, 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 his, uh, on his site, thank no God. No one else can match. And iPad has become a great platform for third-party developers. We now have over 475,000 apps on the App Store. Paul has tweeted his response, by the way. And these have been custom designed for iPad, not this stretched out smartphone app that our competitors are doing. No one else is close to this. But it's not about quantity, it's about quality iPad offers amazing ways for you to be creative or productive or educated or entertained wherever you might go. Interesting that he's spending so, so much time reselling us on iPad. And why does he need to? In this incredible if it's such a apps, magical revolutionary device. It's no mm. wonder yeah. that iPad they do this has all the time. such a profound experience. Putting the thumb down on everybody, like making sure that they've got everybody's attention. Use it up. Tech Pinion's called iPad the biggest shift Tech of our pinions? generation. Oh, they're a little desperate. <laughs> Tech Pinion's? But what's most rewarding <laughs> and inspiring to us <laughs> is all of the amazing ways our customers. You know, are if they if they had put Paul's iPads. name on there, that would have made that would have every every no, but everybody would have thinking. To be the we really want to cut Apple because the they're going to put me on the next. Right? You know. Right. But honestly, we yeah, could have separate never the men from the boys. Imagined. That's right. I don't All think Paul the ways that our customers. In fact, he really probably wishes they put right. on there. Right. Right. To celebrate our customers' creativity and genius of using their iPads, we prepared a short video that I'd like to run for you this morning. I bet you do. That you do. Happy people, happy shiny people. Stupid using people who climb to the top of things like that. <laughs> don't get up. No, don't go up there. Oh. <laughs> it's windy. Stupid up people there. who take pictures with tablets. <laughs> Jerks who don't keep a $500 device away from the pool where people are splashing. Andy's people a little who ahead rather of be us, distracted by, by flipboard instead of keeping an eye on their oxygen. Okay, he's cool. He's cool. <laughs> Balloons, they can go to hell too. Yeah, fine. You drop that off the side of the gondola, and what happens? Someone dies. You're trying to tell us that iPad users are idiots? Yeah, eyes on the road. For God's sakes, look what you're doing. Don't, don't text. <laughs> Another. You don't want to. There you go. Okay. Or, okay. That's good. <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing there. Ugh. That see, that's what happens to secondhand iPads. It was used in an operating theater with plastic on it. Again, squirty things keep right away. iPads are for <laughs> so, dancing. I'm just realizing that Andy's a little ahead of us. Andy's a little ahead of us. Andy, you're about 20 <laughs> seconds ahead of us. <laughs> it's Your fun. comment, it's like, yeah, it's here like, it comes. <laughs> yeah. What is he talking about? <laughs> we'll sync this. We'll sync this together. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it in post. Exactly. You see a lot of iPads on performing stages. Oh man, days. everybody has one. I wish people wouldn't do that though. Double slot, jet stretch Don't take right. pictures with your iPad, please. But it, <laughs> I have to admit, ever since I got ever since I got a glass, picking up my camera to take a picture it's seems like, the it's butt, like huh? what the yeah. what the. Oh. Well, I'm glad Apple acknowledges it. Maybe they'll put a better camera. In. It's really an amazing video, and each of those scenes has an amazing story behind it. We <laughs> want to help our customers I create like even more story. amazing stories, because we know that this is just the beginning for iPad. And so we've been busy working on the next generation of iPad. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to invite Phil back up on stage. <coughs> Phil? Thank you, Tim. Chief of Marketing, Phil Schiller. iPad is delivering a new vision for mobile computing, unlike anything that has come before. And it all began with this amazing 9.7-inch multi-touch display and the incredible power it enabled for software. Isn't that border field really big now? The ability to hold yeah, the internet in your hands. It will. You still don't get white borders web, on tablets. Do your email yeah. and make FaceTime calls. 
And over just three and a half years, the team has been on a relentless path every year, updating it with newer and better versions, each delivering further on this incredible vision of mobile computing. It's quite remarkable what they've done. And today we think we have the biggest step yet in delivering the vision that is iPad. Wow. Wow. I'd really love to show it to you right, right now. Chamfered edge, shrunk bezel on the left and right. It is it, what we. Twitter's a little ahead of us. We saw as uh, the rumored iPad looks like just like a Galaxy Note. <sighs> iPad, thinner, lighter, more That's powerful. Kind of a weird than presentation. Ever oh, there you go. Incredibly, Wait. excitingly new in so many ways that it deserves right. a new name. A new name. iPad Air. All right, does anybody have that in their uh, bingo card? Nobody. Nobody. Well, Not that's nobody. what the, so the cover the cover is the so a cover is going to be a keyboard and it's going to be your uh, computer replacement. You're going to laptop, you're right. I, and I think they're also freeing up the iPad name for the iPad mini okay. and making that into here's the mainstream the iPad. Is smaller than ever. All right, it's not an iPad, it just runs so Mavericks. Bringing the previous generation in next to it. Yeah, there's so the bezel. See the shrunk. bezel is 43% thinner than the previous version. Making it more comfortable to hold in your hand. Look at us try to make predictions on something that's going to happen in seven minutes. When you look at seven it from seconds. the side, <laughs> how amazingly thin it is. Can let's I the predict it's next oh, okay. to it. Dramatically thinner, just seven. I would really, for more battery power, I would really be happy with the beer thicker. Thinner, thinner wow. across the entire it's fine. device. Wow. I just want more battery life. Now to make an iPad this thin took a huge amount of work over years. Many bosses. It's just been. Remarkable in finding every tenth and every hundredth of a millimeter from every level of the system, from the bezel to the multi-touch surface to really the they spent that much energy on the and enclosure. One point nine millimeters, shaving mm. every hundredth of millimeter. No touch and the benefits ID? are not only making it thin but lighter too. I didn't see one. I mean, the previous iPad weighed one point four pounds. The new that was too iPad heavy. Air weighs just one pound. That's good. That's, that's a lot of cars. That's a significant. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that they needed to do that. That guy in the check shirt that really is bored. I the lightest think he thought he was at the Nokia event. In the world. <laughs> or he went to the Nokia event. He's still tired. Lighter bezel, lighter oh. feel. When you hold it, it will be a dramatically different experience than the previous They, they did need to do fact, that. This happens every now and then. We have an Apple product that we introduce where all the words and pictures... And this is, by the way, a Bart was closed for the last three days. It, it wasn't on strike. It was so they could get the this picture. Time <laughs> and feel it for yourself. And when you get to do that, you'll understand why we are so excited about this iPad Air. Now, what's inside is just as amazing as what's outside. As inside mm. is the brand new Apple A7 chip that we just launched bit. with the iPhone 5S. And it's blown everything away in performance. In fact, Gizmodo wrote, forget the specs, it blows everything away. Wow, they're it's quoting done. Gizmodo wow. now. Wow, Gizmodo out of the freezer. They're, they're a little bit out of the doghouse now. Back into the it's real world. Over a billion transistors. I can, I sh I'm surely Trump next. Also included the new <laughs> M7 Leo Laporte <laughs> says, it's they awesome. They brought Gizmodo this back in the fold. Remember, you might Gizmodo, actually get an invite. Gizmodo has been frosted and by Apple ever since the, uh, as well. they, they bought the We've stolen iPhone 4. Over time. You can see from the original iPad, which started with a very fast chip to begin with. You will actually get invited recall. to it. And now we're up to eight times faster. Half of that performance coming. I think. I think in his, in his exiting papers, I think Steve put in there. And don't let Rio come to the. Captain Temerity says that uh, Eddie Q is unilaterally going to keep me out of the events. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's going to exercise his veto iPad power. And you're going to feel that across so many of the things you use. Playing games, a two-fold increase, the ability to do great 3D rendering. Professional applications where opening large files and doing complex <clears throat> operations can be up to twice as fast. This is a screaming fast iPad. It's faster at Wi-Fi, too. For the first time, we use MIMO AC? technology oh, my in an iPad. That gives multiple antennas. So you can get up to twice as fast 802 n performance as before. We've also ex expanded the ability to have That's in lieu of AC, they are mm -hmm. more places around the world with expanded more LTE radios. coverage with more and more carriers. More frequencies. And throughout the entire product, there's all the things that make a great iPad experience. A 5 megapixel eyesight hmm. camera. That Same also camera. HD video. The new front-facing FaceTime camera with better low-light illumination. 
and for the first time, dual microphones for better audio capture as well as Siri voice recognition. This is recognition. a lot of catch-up, frankly. All this performance, this thinner and lighter design, and it still delivers amazing all-day yeah, 10 That was hour critical. They've got to keep the battery mm -hmm. long. That's something the Surface the 2 uh, has been a little disappointing. And white. Uh, battery life not great on these windows. And new windows gray and so black. Surface tablets. And like all of our products, it's made incredibly environmentally friendly. The new iPad Air will replace our top of the line full size iPad. Start at the same, same price, $499 with 16, 16 gigabytes gig Wi Fi, Wi -Fi only. Config, and with cellular technology, $629. I wonder if they do an exactly iPad the Pro. Pricing. I would, I would, I want and we have an iPad 2. It's available at three ninety nine. We're going to keep that there because there are a lot of customers that like getting They're access keep the two. to a full size iPad. It's just three ninety nine. Three or so this four. This is our full two. size lineup. The two isn't Retina. Yeah. iPad Air. That's such a bizarre choice. And that's cheaper for them to make it. We'll start yeah. Yeah, yeah, but very still, shortly, I guess it looks it's cheap. Shipping now. November first, like hell no. Almost everywhere. You'll notice one country for the first time on our on our on our Wave One list, China, will get. The new iPad Air with Wi-Fi right at the start. Yeah, so presumably the you can order it now and get it in 10 days. Mm -hmm. This is our probably I'll biggest thing video. How much you want to bet we're going to see a change the name of the iPad Mini now? Video you think? A little bit more about it. I'm just there's got to be a reason why they're calling it. The, uh, there's the got to be a reason why they're calling yeah. it the Air now. And I still think I still think the ty the type cover. We're often faced with a. Oh, that's 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 certainly a possibility. Yeah. And Maybe I with agree with Alex that when you call it the Air, everything they've been talking about so far. And all these videos has been punching productivity, productivity, productivity. Right. I think this is right. the first time they've even mentioned how fast this can open files, right. which is something that they really like to forget the iPad actually works with. So I'm glad to see them becoming more aggressive in promoting the iPad as a real productivity tool instead of trying to protect sales of the, uh, the MacBook Air. Right. This is interesting. Right. Designing and engineering the forward looking. technologies. That would be necessary to make. And if I could get my mail on it, that'd be great. The new A7 chip is incredibly powerful and also very power efficient. Because of this efficiency, the battery could get smaller, yet critically without any loss in battery life. And of course, by reducing the battery. And that's why there will not be, I, I'm feeling pretty confident, a Retina we Mini. The dimensions of the so we didn't. We didn't no we didn't, Touch ID? Come on. I know, I was about to say that. No Touch ID. I was. Uh, yeah, I think you can make a case for it. It's not like a phone that you have it all the time with you in your pocket. But if you have an iPhone and an iPad, all I do on that iPad is touch my thumb to the. I know. It's very frustrating. Button, you know, because it's, you're used to it now. Yeah, you yeah. want them to no, match. I know. And really Once you get used to logging in with your thumb or finger, it's it's uh, hard to go back. With the iPad, we set out to redefine mobile computing. Up until now, 64-bit architecture. I thought I was watching Portlandia for a moment. He looks just like uh, <laughs> you know we were shooting we were shooting in Portlandia, Portland. And I asked someone, "Is it really like that?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, it's oh, yeah. totally like that." To this ultra portable one-pound device. So can you actually get? Added Valak donuts? He goes, yeah, it's right down the street. I'll take you there for one. I was like, no, 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 that's okay. iPad Air is the first iOS device to support MIMO, or multiple in, multiple out. It actually delivers Iormo, twice Mimo. the data transfer rate as the previous generation. And yeah, the number one reason I can't go Air, I mean, go iPad only is because it doesn't because properly handle my mail. You want to take it anywhere. I don't know why you have that problem. Connected. Like, else's mail. What do you mean it doesn't it's properly handle your mail? It needs to cache my mail, like my, my, my laptop. Uh, like, oh. I get I get I get four to five hundred actionable emails a day. Uh -huh. You don't want to just have to be on the It's just the, the ca it needs. I, I just want to say, hey, you can have ten gigs. Just keep them all on my iPad. Otherwise, I can't get to them, so I can't. Why don't you use Mailbox? I cache this pretty well. Will it cache them all? Pages not since the beginning of time. No, not since the beginning of time. Just anything. Yeah, there are a lot of mailbox. alternatives. Choices. I haven't been yeah. able to find any. And then they do this strange thing with iMapping. Yeah, it's, it's a new feature since Dropbox bought them. So what's the deal when they when iMap, like you see a piece of mail for a second and then disappears? Have you seen that? No. I see that all the time. I don't use Apple Mail. No, I see that as Gmail. No, I see it as Gmail. That's why. Yeah, Gmail and Mail. Background filtering. Just stop. And also the most advanced iPad we've ever built. It's advanced. They could call it the iPad Avanced. So this is the all-new generation iPad Air. Next, let's talk about iPad Mini. 
iPad Mini okay. has been a big hit with customers because it delivers the complete the right iPad experience. Although I'll have to try the new Air to design, see. It might be it's inch. It lets you do all the things yeah, that you'd love to do with iPad. You surf the web. <laughs> After the Mini, email, it does feel like a truck. Make yeah. FaceTime calls. Read books, watch movies, and use all those hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of applications. Customers love the complete mm -hmm. iPad experience the iPad Mini delivers. And the one most requested feature to add to iPad Mini is a beautiful retina. All right. Display. Yeah. Yeah, baby. And that's what we're going to do today. Yeah. Touching. I'm buying it. Oh, finally, we woke up Check Shirt Guy. <laughs> it's a 7.9 inch. That's what I was waiting for. Display. That's 2048 by 1536 pixels. The same number of pixels as an iPad Air. So it runs all the same software. Oh, that's pretty good. You use it for everything you do from looking at photos. The so it's even denser so than, yeah. You can't see the individual it's ones a higher PPI than distance. the Air. Or text, it's, as sharp yeah. as the finest printed newspaper yeah, or this magazine. Makes it a very I, I call and I raise you. Is there going to be a hit on battery life? And the new iPad Mini with Retina Display is, it going to be A7? is also powered it is. by this brand new A7 that's, chip that's, with a uh, that's great. bit architecture. And it is it two millimeters thinner. Well, and that means they're going to charge more. This is going to be a 399 product. four times Maybe faster at CPU tasks. And up to eight times they're going to have to charge more. I think they're just saying it's smaller. Like uh, People bought it because of the size, not because of the money. Same thing, but smaller. So I think that's an acknowledgement of the market. Yeah. What the market's saying. All day, yep. 10 hour battery yeah. life. Yeah. The iPad mini with retina he is referring to it as the iPad mini with retina display, so I, yeah. Wi -Fi with MIMO antennas. I wonder what they're going to be doing next LTE year, though. Support for more carriers around the world. As the mini's a good brand. I don't, I don't, I think that that's reasonable. Camera, what did he say? New FaceTime HD five, camera. Five megapixel? Yeah. So you're exactly right. It's just the same. And white. This is like you want it smaller. And space gray and black. Same hardware, smaller. I think it's about the kept price. iPad Mini with Retina display will be priced hmm? at just yeah. three ninety nine. So seventy bucks for more. Sixteen gigs with Wi Fi. <clears throat> so you can get an iPad Two for three ninety nine, or an mini. iPad Mini for three ninety nine. And then we will laugh at you. Later yeah. in November. Later in November. We're going to keep the not. original iPad Sorry. Mini in the line as well. Interesting. You know, it starts at just three twenty nine. But really wish I had been two ninety nine. At the same time, lower the price of that iPad Mini. There you go. I was going to say you can't keep it at three twenty nine. So now they have a uh, pretty good range from 299 to 299. So that's the lowest price yet for an iPad giving you a full iPad experience for under $300. Yeah. And so here's what our lineup will look like going into the holidays. You'll have iPad mini starting at 299, iPad mini with retina display at 399, a full that size 299 iPad, Mac 2 at iPad mini is going to be And the brand new big seller. iPad Air Thank at 499. Yeah. Just an incredible. The iPad 2 must have been the one they have the least of or something. something just amazing. to be like, got a bunch of them left over. <laughs> we have the most of them. Got too many in the like. Protecting their iPad <laughs> the least with covers desirable. And covers, here we go. So we have new ones of those, too. We have a brand new iPad cover. Made of uh, and when you put it in your bag and it slides sideways, it turns your iPad on and then burns horrible. your battery to the bottom. Horrible piece of... Just Not that I'm bitter. Price. And there's the iPad case that protects the front and the back yeah. with a beautiful That's really what leather case. That's really what they Leather. Amazing colors. It's $79. What's yellow leather? An iPad Air and just $69 for Finally, iPad an iPad case you can the smell. And the case <laughs> come in gorgeous product red versions as well. That's nice. I'll buy that. That's my mustache. So that is the new no iPad No type Mini cover. With its nope. retina display and the all-new generation iPad Air. Now let me turn it back to Tim. All right. No, well, no surprises really for the uh, iPad except a name change. I do want like an iPad, iPad Pro running on mm. iPad 10. And... <laughs> Twice as thick. Twice as heavy. And, new and I'm really pleased Just to see a Retina Mini. in the last few weeks, we've had our largest iPhone launch ever with the colorful iPhone 5C and the forward-thinking iPhone 5S. These are the best smartphones on the market. And we launched iOS 7, the biggest change to iOS since the original iPhone with its bold new design and great new features. They did not announce a 4K display. And just today, mm. the new and no Final Cut 10, so that's going to be that could be a whole displays, other presentation unless they do one more thing. Performance. Bring on Adele. <laughs> Mac Pro. <laughs> How can you sell something that supports 4K displays with that? Well, there are 4K displays, it's just they don't make them. Yeah, yeah no, it's and the crazy. Of our pro Interesting that they didn't show off new of course, displays. All of our yeah. Macs at least one 4K OS display. 10 Mavericks, 
the most advanced desktop operating system. We also announced new versions of iWork and iLife for both Aperture no update, also OS three years old. And I think they're just moving all the features into mm -hmm. iPhoto. And we couldn't be prouder of both new iPads. The iPad mini with retina display and the incredible thin and light iPad Air. We're so excited about the new iPads that we've made a cool new ad that I'd like to run for you now on the iPad Air. <laughs> now, if you were to like listen to somebody's new composition and say, you know, that sounds like the background music in an Apple ad, would that be a positive thing or a negative thing positive. to say? I think positive. The best mm, music positive. on television. Yeah, well done. It could be used to start a poem. I was asking that question seriously. The answer here. Finish the symphony. It has transformed the way we work, learn, create, share. You know the, you know the it iPad is, is, is standard issue for the everyone in the government of Rwanda. Thing. Really? So like that's that's what that's all they use. They don't get a laptop. All they get is they just Much get handed like iPads. It's used <laughs> by scientists. And those guys, those guys, they use those iPads hard. I mean, they just. It's been to classrooms, boardrooms, expeditions, even to space. Now I bet any amount of money that the iPad mini will become the iPad next year. Lighter, more powerful iPad Air. It's a transition for the name. Yeah. Somebody said this is Tim Allen. I don't think so. I don't, I don't recognize the voice. Uh, <clears throat> We thought it was going to be a pencil. These amazing products are great examples. Is it Brian Cranston? I don't think so. Is it? I don't know. Only Apple could deliver. I almost thought Brian Cranston. This is what we mean. Because he's hot by right designed now. by Apple. And out of work. And the iPad is crackalicious. <laughs> Other companies would be incredibly proud to just have one of these products. But we couldn't be more pleased to be able to present all of them to saying you it was Brian Cranston. in time for the holidays. I'd like hmm, to thank no all iPods. The people at Apple that works. No so iPod hard announcements, and, and I think that's not really a surprise. That's a it's that's a, a more abundant product we'll category at this point. Alongside of all of these folks, we have a hands-on area for the press, and I would encourage you to get your hands on these products. They're fabulous. Thank you for joining us. And uh, one hour and 24 minutes in, that concludes uh, the keynote address. Tim Cook leading things off. Before we give us uh, give a little summary, I want to thank our friends at Slingbox, as always, making breaking news possible on uh, Twit. Uh, the Slingbox 500 is available now, featuring built-in Wi-Fi, HDMI connectivity, 1080p streaming. That You put that Slingbox in your home theater, you're not streaming your entire home theater onto the Internet. Password protected so you can access it from another computer. From your iPad, look great on an iPad mini even, turning that iPad into the personal television it's always wanted to be. If you don't have a Slingbox, check it out at Amazon, Best Buy, or at Slingbox.com slash twit. Put your home theater on the air all over the world thanks to the Internet or just down the hall with a Slingbox today. Slingbox.com slash twit. Well, a lot of what we saw today was what didn't we see. Uh, we didn't see a 4K display to go with that Mac Pro. We didn't see Final Cut 10 updates, Aperture updates. We didn't see a Mac Mini. We didn't see um, covers, type covers. In fact, they barely mentioned covers. Everybody thought with that advertise, the uh, invitation, we've got a lot to cover. They did have a That's lot to cover. See. Uh, they did have a lot to cover, and I think they're, they're, this is now, you know, now, the new Apple standard, two years running, means it's the new Apple standard where you do a, a, a September announcement with iPhones and an October announcement for everything else that you're going to update for uh, for the year. And uh, there was quite a bit. Uh, Andy, your thoughts? Uh, I think this is the catch-all keynote that we were all expecting. Uh, the I think the most significant thing we heard from about this is, again, a I, I think that a major policy shift regarding the iPad, where they are ready to stop even entertaining the notion that the iPad is a content consumption device. It's a fun device. It's the one you play that you play heart and soul with and chopsticks with on the on, on the virtual keyboard. And it is something that no that it's now telling people why would you ever want to buy a Windows 8 notebook, even though it does cost roughly the same as an iPad, but an iPad is 
a professional device with professional collaborative apps that real professionals are using to do professional productive things. And it's so much cooler and lighter and more wonderful. So I, I think that the for, for me, that's the big takeaway from this. We didn't hear anything that we weren't really expecting to hear except for the name change. But I think this is the first time that Apple has been so consistent in saying that this is designed. We will give you five hundred dollars worth of work value out of this device, even if you buy the cheapest thing, if you buy the eight hundred dollar thing. By all means, give us LTE. Take we'll, we'll we'll sell you LTE and 64 gigs. But they're trying to say this is a computer. This is not simply something for re for reading uh, iBooks on. If you got a hankering to buy something, uh, store is up. The store is up, but uh, there's nothing you can buy right now. You could pre-order, I guess. Can you? No, uh, no pre-orders even for the Mini or the Air. You can get some stuff for free though. OS 10 Mavericks ships today for free. For free. Uh, you'll also uh, be able to get what else? Anything else? Is there anything you can order they, right now? Did they say that the, um, I I order the, Mac MacBooks, Pro? the MacBook Pros are available right now? They said the MacBook Pros are available mm -hmm. now. So there's new MacBook Pros with Retina uh, featuring, as we expected, the, in, the fourth generation too, core processor as that well. That starts today. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to start testing the collaboration. So those available for download today? Yeah. Yeah, okay. The, get on uh, your iPad. See what you can get. <laughs> see what we can get for see free. what you can get right now. Yeah, the, uh, the new Mac Pros. I'm interested to see if if iPad Air is setting up an iPad Pro. You know, like like it's you know, so you have you have the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. You wonder if there is a you know, we're going to give you something that really is very close to a laptop, not a laptop, but a very a more power. You know, it's even more powerful, more That's memory. Interesting. You know, I, I think that that would be a very interesting um, you know because that would give them another announcement in the spring. Or, is know, that what you're saying, Andy, or that the Air is the Pro and that they're going to Make the mini be the iPad. I, I'm. I would bet money at this point that next year they're going to drop the mini from the iPad. Uh, iPad mini. That the Air. They're not going to call it the Pro because that. I think they're saving that for something very, very special. Also, when they say Pro, they might be adding a. I don't know. If when you call something the Pro, you really are. You really are promising. Hey, look! Don't even think about doing something fun with this. This is going to just. This is going to singe your boxer shorts off. It's so fast, and the stuff that you can do with this. Well, I mean, you can and run. I don't think. The, I don't think that. I don't think they want to get rid of the idea that the iPad is the computer that you want your you, you want your, your your kids to have. That this is the second computer that you want to buy instead of buying a instead of buying a notebook. Because not only will it do those spreadsheets, not only will it do a collaborative office style stuff, but it will also be a great gaming machine. It will also be a great content movie reading device. Well, and, and what I mean, if, if with the MacBook Pro, what if you added uh, additional interfaces? You had a lot more memory, uh, more power, more battery life, and able to run stuff like Final Cut uh, 10. You know, those those types of things um, could be a really. There's, I think there's a huge market for that. And people who want to do it portably, portably. When you talk about news organizations, when you talk, like, I, I could see news organizations giving you know all their reporters that uh, you know for. Uh, you know, doing high resolution cameras, you know, all the things that, that a lot of pros would, would want and they'd pay a premium for it. You know, and I think that there's an opportunity there. And when you, when you see air, it just seems like along with their other branding, it seems like it would make sense that we'd see something else somewhere down the road, spring, summer. Yeah. You'd also need a type cover, a, a cover. I mean, yeah. there's plenty of third party, a very good third party type yep. keyboards for mm -hmm. uh, iPads. But I think if Apple doesn't offer it, it's, it's still, you know, uh, considered maybe a suspect way to use the iPad. Yep. Similarly, I don't understand why they didn't do a 4K display. It just seems like if you're going to talk about 4K... My guess is that it'll come with the Final come Cut with announcement. I, I think that they're going to do another announcement. Mm -hmm. November. They said I, December for the um, Mac Pro, and so there's still time to do something. This is not a Christmas purchase. And it might be near when the, the Mac Pro is actually being released because Final Cut 10 can't be... Uh, the, uh, for, you know, Final, I think they've already said that Final Cut 10 is designed to work with... Um, they made a big point about it. Yeah, designed to work with that. So I think yeah. that uh, they probably want to release it closer to uh, to when the hardware is available. So you can now order the iPad Air. No, it says order iPad Air on November 1. So is that an order um, page you've got up there? Can can you actually this order This is one? just a review page. It so says, you can look at it, but you can't actually place an order. It says on here, view pricing and configuration. So you can just sort of look we, at it. By well, you would yourself. think they would Available want pre-orders. Available online pre and in retail stores on November 1st. You'd think they'd want some pre-orders. Order an iPad on November 1st. That's kind of surprising to me. Because hmm. um, this is when you get all the attention, right? Why not? To, I'm also checking, of course, <laughs> again and again, the uh, update. And I don't see an OS X Maverick update yet. Uh, on the App Store in uh, oh, in uh, OS 10, so 
But they did say today, so look for that soon. Sarah, any surprises? iPad Air. Nobody predicted that they'd call Nobody that. said that. I That's mean, not I on never, anybody's I never even card. heard that as like a little, oh, and maybe they'll change the name yeah. of the full-size iPad. I mean, yeah. everything that, that, that the name is perhaps the least significant part of what's really being updated, but... That surprises me. You know, it was it was a it was a big moment. I'm obviously extremely happy about the Retina Mini. Me too. Uh, that's I I think I think they had no choice, and I'm and I'm glad to see that we're not waiting uh, until next year for that. Although from the rumors we've heard, it might be one that you really would want to order as quickly as they offer. Like get online the exactly. minute they offer it Some because supply chain issues. That's we've heard rumors that they can't make the Retina display reliably for the Mini. Uh, so that would be yeah, but, one issue. Uh, on the other hand, would you want to have the first generation of this? I, I, I say no. Maybe wait. And, that's, and, and I'm, not, I'm not being snarky. I'm not trying to be funny here. I'm, I'm saying that in general, whenever there's that something this is such a radical departure for any company, I don't think that you're going to get the best build out of the first generation. It's going to right. remember that Apple's going to be capturing a whole bunch of things uh, at the uh, at the Apple stores and sending them back to the mothership for examination. And well, I think that you're going to see revision B in about a month or two. And we did see that with the new MacBook Airs when they uh, came out earlier this year. Um, but I do think that the, the point that uh, Alex made is, is well taken, which is that the Mini is essentially identical now to the Air. It's just smaller. It right. has the A7 chip. No longer do you have to sacrifice the chip. No longer do you have to sacrifice on the screen. In fact, the PPI on the Mini is better than on the Air because it's the same, the same resolution yeah. shrunk down. Yeah. No Touch ID, which I guess isn't a huge surprise because they probably like the idea of making the I, uh, the 5S special in that way. Right. Well, but the other thing is, again, if you, went, if you looked at an iPad Pro, that would be another thing that you could add to it. So, you know, you have another feature there. And it also might be a question of just getting their hands on enough components. Uh, they, they sell so many yeah. more iPhones than so, iPads. Yeah. And if they want to make sure that that's, if they want to roll it out, First for this one device where it makes the most sense. Next year, maybe they'll put it on the iPad. It could easily be a supply chain issue. Absolutely. Um, and they, you know, it's a brand new product. It's only been out for a few weeks, and they probably want to look at the fingerprint reader and see True. how well it does, and True. see if there's things they need to improve on it and so forth. Um, I've noticed I. It's very hard for me to unlock my phone when my hands are lotioned. <laughs> Which Slips is something right that like a bar I do. Soap. I like to, <laughs> you know, have motion. So yes, excuse, fix excuse that me. first. I, meant, I hope I'm not not being rude. I am actually editing what is going to be a, what is now a 2,700 word <laughs> piece about the keynote that will be on the uh, on the Sun Times site in about 20 minutes. You've been banging the, along the whole time. All right. I have been writing and commenting as brilliant as I have been over the past 90 minutes. <laughs> I just realized that you were only using 20 percent of a CPU. Impressive. That's just how good he is. Uh, looking at the MacBook Pros, does look like you can order these uh, now. And uh, these are nice-looking machines, I have to say. Um, the base model, 19. That was another thing Apple does, rarely does. Often Apple will upgrade these uh, these devices um, but uh, keep the same price. More power, same price. Yeah. In this case, more power, lower price. They dropped... I think they're getting aggressive. Both of them by 200 bucks, which is, uh, yeah, very exciting. They also now have a very wide range of prices for iPads, starting as low yeah. as 299 Clearly, and this is what uh, they've done in the past. They did this with the iPods. They, they and, eye them. And it they wasn't sudden. The edges. Yep. It was just like they just keep on moving. I, yep. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a 199 a year from now. 199 wow. Yeah. I mean, a year from now. Kind of, kind of was hoping that whole cover tease was going to be a keyboard add-on. With additional uh, battery, a la the Microsoft Surface, yeah. Yeah, or, you know, But just, that would be a very strong statement that we see this as a laptop. Yeah. And and maybe they would be concerned maybe they're about one cannibalizing version, the air on that. I, mean, I think maybe they're one version of, of OS X away from that that kind of... I think. I mean, I think that we're looking at 2014, 2015 of the merger between the, right. the OSs. Right. And I think that I mean, I think that they've been slowly coaxing us that direction. Um, Here's an interesting thing. They're now offering up to a terabyte of flash storage, not only on the Mac Pro, but on the MacBook Pros. This is aye, aye, aye. this is uh, 500 bucks additional. You can get a go from two for, on the on the high end MacBook Pro from a 512 PCIe makes it so fast based uh, storage to a terabyte for additional 500 bucks. I think I'm going to check that box. Yeah, I think I'm going to check that box. Yeah, I'm trying to see what my what my. Uh, that's not that bad actually. There weren't that, there, there's not that many things to Configured upgrade. Configured with a faster processor, a terabyte drive. You can't upgrade the RAM. It's 16 gigabytes on the high end. And it's 32. Uh, 32.99. It's actually... 
I Less think. than I paid for the one that I'm using right yeah, now. Yeah, I think so. I, think I, I paid think about four for mine. Yeah. Um, and I presume that the has well chip out will RAM. solve some of the, the speed problems that the current Retina yeah. suffers from. Mm -hmm. And it, it just comes with 16 gigs. What are we going to get for iPad today? I'm, you get whatever you want. Well, I think I got to go iPad Air. I'll go mini. Oh, uh, well, really? Well, That's we got to have one each. I guess so. <laughs> and I'm I'm a mini kind of guy. I like the mini a lot. Sure. Leah, what's the problem? You only have one back pocket. You only buy one <laughs> mini. It really, it really. I, I was I was talking with a lot of people about this last week about the difference between the people who own the full size, excuse me, the iPad Air and the iPad Mini. It's the people who have really made that sort of cognitive leap that I can use my iPad as a real computer. If you have not made that leap yet, you probably are. Uh, you probably bought an, a, a, a MacBook Air, or you are perfectly okay toting around an old MacBook. Uh, but some of us are like, no, this is my mobile computer. I don't. An iPad Mini does not express the the wonderfulness of the iPad the way that the full size one does. Whereas everyone else is going to be saying, why do I want to carry this big, huge, you know, piece of glass with me when I have something that I can at least stick inside a jacket pocket? Somebody in the chat room just pointed out: if you go to the Apple refurbished site, you can buy the new Mac Pro already and save <laughs> save money. <laughs> I have to think these might be damaged or somehow uh, marked up or scratched up, or maybe they just made a mistake because it says originally released June 2012. Mm, a typo. Uh, you think it's it? It is. It is. A, it's a cylinder. Uh, it says it'll be available one to five business days. This is definitely an error. <laughs> this is definitely an error. You will get a cheese grater if you order this. Do be not fooled by the 2001 monolith picture. Yeah. Uh, that is definitely an error. Shoot. <laughs> Wouldn't it, you know, maybe they got some scratched up, that robot. It yeah. went a little wild one day, uh, just, and they just, got a dent. I'd take one with a dent. Yeah, totally. Interesting. It's a gamble it, Leo. Gamble it. Bob. No, no, no. That's a $3,239 gamble. And because it is not an E, it's it's not the E processor, the E, what is the E5 that they're, uh, it's, it's a mistake. Shoot. <laughs> We're getting some of the photos from journalists who are at the event, and uh, the iPad Air. On. That's uh, well. This is the new mini. Uh, a new mini. Looks good. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that on your Twitter feed? It is. I gotta, yes. I gotta do that. T w i t t e r dot com. T w i t t. -E I'm, I'm not familiar. Uh, oh, with it's that. Uh, it's yeah. it's silly. It's short messaging. <laughs> people talk about food. what uh, What are you searching for? I'm just looking at my feed. Most of the people I follow are people are who care. About exactly they're actually in this. there, huh? Yeah. I have very few mm. friends outside of the circle, mm -hmm. it turns out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently none of my friends actually uh, are, got invited to the event. I, I can't understand why. <laughs> uh, anything else to say before we uh, wrap it up? Because we've got a Mac break weekly to do. Uh, just a little bit late. Not too bad, actually. Uh, Apple really ran that thing like a clockwork. In fact, I, I bet you they were exactly on schedule given that that one hour in, almost to the to the minute, they started announcing the uh, the iPads. Um, I, just, think the, I think the collaboration is a big is a big deal. Collaboration. With the iWork. Yeah, and because that's something the, you use. Well, here's the deal: is if, if you're if it's especially if it's going across Keynote um, and uh, and numbers, which I, we assume would would be the case um the big advantage there is that right now a lot of us want to collaborate and but we also want something that actually looks nice when we're done um google does one of those <laughs> you know right. so um you know now apple is the only one that does both where you can drag and drop that's what they were really showing there was hey we've got graphics we've got multiple right. you know you can all have things overlaid and all well. the stuff that, yeah. so what they were showing there didn't look that exciting ex for, except for people who use both right pages and Google, right. all of us were like, oh, that's what I need. Now, the only question is, is how they're going to be able to manage shared files, you know, across organizations. I mean, that's the next step, which we, you know, inside the iCloud is not, you know, it's not as, uh, might not be as nice. Here's Lance Ulanov's uh, Vine uh, of the uh, new iPad Air, um, <laughs> for what it's worth. It's kind of cool. From Mashable. <laughs> it is uh, nice and thin. Yeah. He, you know, he didn't say impossibly thin. He didn't. Um, See, when I think, you pull it on edge like that, it disappears. I, it, you know, <laughs> before I rush out and order a mini, I'd like to handle both because it may be that the air is now compact enough that it yeah. gives me the benefits of the mini, lighter and smaller, right. without sacrificing the larger screen. I don't know. But you like know. the smaller screen, so you've said. I, yeah, but for this the, is for a well. Year. I like the smaller uh, device. Yeah. 
But maybe so, it's the light, the lightness, thinness yeah, that you really Yeah, maybe. Like. And, and it is, you know, they've shrunk the bezels. So it, it is in some ways... Uh, with both of them being retina, I think the mini really turns into I, how much are you carrying this around device. with you? Yeah. Mm. Really? Yeah. Because otherwise, do you really want something smaller in your hands? If I, I like I like the larger form factor. Right. I feel like it's a truck. Note, though, that Apple's <laughs> pushing on its <laughs> When I pull change. it out, I just but go, I, but oh, it, but my I, back. I only use the mini if this guy is out of batteries. See, and I only use the, the big one if the mini is out of batteries. Right. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, the big one's like, no, you're yeah. always like, oh, And if, you've use, if you use the oh. mini extensively, the big one does feel big. Now, that's the yeah. question is, is if this new iPad Air will be small enough to not give you that kind of, well, oh, that's an awful lot more. Yeah. They, they are pushing it on the front page of Apple as the power of lightness. Right. Um, so that, to me, that tells me that, you know, they, they feel this is going to make a big deal. The keynote is now up on uh, the Apple site if you uh, want to watch it again um, or are you just joining us late. Uh, brand new uh, iPads, yes, just as we expected, although a surprising name change, the iPad Air for the 9.7 inch. The iPad mini now has a retina display, neither have the fingerprint reader, the Touch ID that uh, the iPhone 5S has. Uh, OS 10 Mavericks, the newest version of OS 10 is now available. Uh, they say free, which is pretty impressive. Um, unfortunately, when uh, you load it from the Apple site where it says available now, you get uh, this message on the App Store. Item not available. The item you've requested is not currently available in the U.S. Store. Soon. Soon. Um, what else? Mac Pro out in December. Starting price a little higher than maybe I thought, $29.99 uh, mm -hmm. for the base model. They didn't tell you what the top price could be, but <laughs> it's got to be a lot more than that. Um, no 4K displays. That was a little bit of a surprise. They didn't announce any other uh, Thunderbolt 2 peripherals, uh, but it is a beautiful computer, and I have a feeling Apple's going to do well with it with a certain crowd. Brand new, rewritten from the ground up, iLife and iWork. Much needed updates to those, and as Alex mentioned, collaboration is one of the features in the new iWork, and the fact that it's completely cross-platform. Uh, so uh, that's a that's a compelling argument for people in the Apple universe. Absolutely. And the web version, of course, even works on Windows. Crazy. Crazy. Um, what else did they mention? Is that everything? Did I get it all in? I think you got it all. All right. Yeah. I thank you for joining us. We thank our friends at Slingbox for making uh, our breaking news coverage possible on uh, Twit. Please uh, stop by slingbox.com slash twit. Find out about the new Slingbox 500 with Wi-Fi, HDMI, full 1080p. Stream your home theater everywhere you go. Password protected on the internet. Turn your laptop, your tablet, your iPad into a personal television. You can even control your uh, DVR, program your shows, watch them back with the Slingbox. Available at Best Buy or Amazon, or check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Andy Anaka will let you... Con so it's 2,700 words now. When you edit it, will it be 2,699? Uh, now it's 2,904. <laughs> it's going have, up. Not going it, down. It's, it's, it's not like golf. I don't, a lower <laughs> score is not better as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> He's paid by the word, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Andy, uh, you can read Andy's... Uh, will, it, will it be out in the uh, Chicago Sun-Times today? Uh, edited part will be on the Sun Times. The uh, the full version is going to be on uh, gr uh, the Sun Times Grid Chicago site probably in the next half hour. It's, I'm Look sorry, it's quarter way. to quarter to three Eastern right now. We'll probably be up by three thirty. Well, we'll let you type I, I, type I, type when we get ready for you. Mac Break <laughs> Weekly. <laughs> and he's not go the greatest. He'll be back for Mac Break Weekly along with Renee Ritchie. Sarah Lane, thank you so much. Do you guys want to do a TNT roundup? Uh, oh, we're going to yes. Yeah, okay, we... so we're going to let them go do that. Yep. Sarah Lane, of course, also host of iPad Today. We'll talk a lot this Thursday about the new iPads. We've got some we've got some ground to cover. I think so. Yeah. We don't even really have to prepare. Just sit down, talk about stuff. When have we ever prepared? <laughs> no. Touché. She prepares. I don't. Because she does. That's how you have to I have to work twice as also, hard. Also, I five for the iPhone and the social hour, and of course TNT. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, 1700 UTC on Twit.tv for your daily dose of tech news. Mr. Alex Lindsay, so nice to see you. Will you stick around for um, yeah, Mac Break absolutely. Weekly? We would like that very much. Absolutely. Uh, Alex is, of course, at the Pixel Core, where he does amazing things for some amazing companies. And uh, his expertise is uh, always uh, valued here on the show. Thank you, Alex. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, that uh, concludes Apple's October 2013 announcement. The new iPads are here. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.